Lopez pled guilty to first degree murder and sexual battery. Police say he murdered her after she said her ex-husband's name twice while they were having sex. After the killing, Lopez called 911 himself, sobbing. In my almost 23 years on this bench, I've never been left without words to say. This video contains the interview of a man who murdered his girlfriend in an unimaginably brutal way. 31-year-old Maria Nemeth had just ended an eight-year-long marriage when she met 25-year-old Vidal Lopez at a club. They quickly started a relationship, and after living with her family for a while, the couple moved in together after a year of dating. One week later, on September 20, 2015, Lopez and Nemeth were drinking together in their apartment after an evening out. After several rounds of tequila, they found themselves in the closet to make love. During intercourse, Namath had said the name of her ex-husband two times, which infuriated Lopez. Lopez started destroying the apartment. He broke various items, punched holes in walls, and shattered the sliding glass door. During this time, Namath had become unconscious from drinking too much and was lying in the closet. Lopez abused her with various items before inserting his arm with such force that he was able to reach her intestines, where he proceeded to rip them out of her body. Lopez went outside to smoke a cigarette on the back porch. Becoming panicked, he then started cleaning up. When he went to check on Namath, who was still in the bathroom, she was not breathing anymore. Lopez called 911. Police arrived and found Lopez crying, standing over Maria's naked body, asking for help. Officers noticed a large amount of blood on the floor and destruction throughout the apartment. Investigators secured the scene and spoke to neighbors, who stated they heard a male screaming and heard loud banging for about two hours. Lopez was taken in for questioning. All right, so I just want to make sure I have your name spelled correctly and your information. All right, spell your first name for me. Uh, first name is Fidel, F-I-D-E-L. Okay, and your last name? Lopez, L-O-P-E-C. Excellent, okay. And you're 26 years old? No, 24. 24? Mm -hmm. And your date of birth? Uh, March, uh, March 28, 1991. All right, uh, we're going to talk about what happened tonight, all right? Uh, we're going to go everything in detail, obviously. Uh, what I want to do is go over your rights waiver form. Um, okay. This is your rights. I'm going to read you each thing. Uh, you're going to answer. I'm going to have you sign, and then uh, we'll take a seat. Yeah, I don't know how to read in English. Just read it. I'll read it. You understand English, though, correct? Yeah, I do. Okay, and um, what... what I'm sorry, can we read it in Spanish, right? Uh, what... Um, where'd you go to school? I went to Nova High School. Um, did you graduate? No, I did not. What year did you go to? Uh, I went uh, to um, 10th grade. 10th grade? Okay. And uh, you have a job? I have a job. Where do you work? I work on um, 595 drop stop right. as a mechanic. Mechanic? How long have you done that? Uh, I just started there. Like, uh, I've been there for a month already. A month? Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Um, have you lived in the United States? When did you move here? Where are you from? To the United States. I'm from Cuba. From Cuba? When did you move here? Um, the United States, um, 2007. 2007? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you understand English, but you can read Spanish? Uh, yeah, I understand English. You know, speak it a little bit. Uh, but, you know, okay, so what I do, I'm going to get, I'm going to read this to you in English, mm -hmm. and I have a Spanish form that I'll also have you sign. Okay, right, just cool. so you understand, I just want to, you know, um, you came here today voluntarily? 
to provide a statement about what happened last night? Yeah. Okay. Um, no threats or promises have been made to you. We've been. No, no, no. I just came here. I just yeah, want to find out why this is she's dead. I just, what, what happened to her? Okay. Just, and that's what we want to do too. That's what we want to know. All right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. But like I said, let's first go over your form, and then we'll we'll go on from there. Okay. So print your name here on the top. Oh, yeah. Yep, print your name right there. Okay, just hold it back. This says, do you understand that I'm a police officer? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And you write yes, and just put your initials to it. Initials? Yeah, just... This line right here says, you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Since Lopez's first language is Spanish, it is important to ensure that he thoroughly understands all of his legal rights by using the Spanish written version, even though he is comfortable with spoken English. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? You have the right to speak to an attorney before speaking to the police or to have an attorney present during questioning now or in the future. Do you understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for, for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you will, you will still have the right to stop and answer at any to have the right to stop answering at any time and speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Have you previously requested any of the law enforcement officers you've been in contact with today to speak to an attorney? No. What do you mean? Have you, have you asked any officers today to speak to an attorney? No, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. No? With the initial? Is your employee no? Yep. Knowing and understanding your rights, as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer my questions without an attorney present? No. Okay. On this line, right? Here. Print your name there. I'm just going to read this to you, okay? Right. Um, I, Fidel Lopez, have read this statement of my rights or have had it read to me, which I have, okay? And I understand my, what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not wish an attorney at this time. No threats or promises have been made to me. No pressure of any kind has been used against me, nor have I trick, been tricked or fooled into giving this statement. I understand and know what I am doing. I further understand that this statement may be used against me in a court of law. I have not previously requested any law enforcement officer to allow me to speak to an attorney. Do you understand everything that I just read to you? Yes. Okay, sign your name here. Today's date is uh, uh, 20. Yes, correct. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, so let's start with who do you live with over at uh, Colonnades? Is it Colonnades or it's uh, Colonnades? Colonnades. Who do you live with there? Uh, I live with her, with Maria Nemeth. Okay, Maria, what's Maria's last name? Maria Nemeth. Lopez had only lived with Nemeth for a few months, most of which time they spent with her family before moving into their own place. Previously, he was living with the mother of his children. I just released another extremely intense case on my Patreon. When a suspect shoots a cop in a police station, shows a man driven to desperation from concern for his friend, and decides he will use force to get his answers. What happens next is shocking. You can watch that and many more at patreon.com slash strangers stories plus. Do you, can you spell that? Uh, Nemeth is uh, um, N E M E T H. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. How long have you guys been together? We've been together for about a year and, year and two months, almost, you know. 
Okay. And how long have you been in the apartment over here in Sunrise? Are we here? About a six day, like a week. A week? Yeah. Okay. Um, where did you live prior to that? Uh, uh, before, uh, before. Where did you live before you lived in there? Hialeah. Hialeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you um, live together in Hialeah? Yeah, we lived together in Hialeah. We, we also were, were living on Hollywood Beach. Then we moved to Hialeah for a month. Then we came here. Okay, so Hollywood Beach. Hollywood Beach. Hialeah. Hialeah. Sunrise. And Sunrise. And each time you lived together, you and yeah, Maria? Yeah, me and her. Okay. Um, who did you live with in Hialeah? I mean, with, with Maria, but who did? Who else did you live in with? In my house, uh, in the big house, it was me, my brother, my mother, and her. Okay. Before, so all your family. Yeah, all family. And where, where's her family at? Uh, uh, her family, the, she has family in Hialeah yeah. also. Okay. Uh, her dad is uh, living in Pompano. Pompano. Uh huh. And her mother and sister is yeah, in Peru. Okay. So how? Um, is she in contact with her mom and her, her dad? Yeah, she, she was, you know, like by Facebook, you know, things like that. She, she don't have a phone, we were about to buy a phone. But I mean, do they, they see each other often, or they have a good relationship? Um, her and um, the aunts, um, you know, because the aunt don't like her because she was drinking too much, like I like was telling you, like, and... You know, but besides that, her her mother and things like that, they, they always, you know, see we share the, the share with cameras and things like that. Yeah. Like WhatsApp and applications like that, so. Okay. But, they, you know, they're, they're cool. I mean, so she she works at the complex? She works at the complex. What, how long has she worked there? Uh, to be honest with you, I believe it's like around, like about five, six years. You know what she does there? Uh, yeah, she's a system manager. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, she passes the checks, uh, she works apartments, see the damage and things like that, reporter. Okay. That, uh, that's at the Colin Age where you live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you guys have been together for over a year. Uh, exclusive? You guys, boyfriend, girlfriend, no other? No. Has no. she ever been married before? Yeah, she was. She was. How long, how long was that? Uh, she was married for eight years. Eight years. Have any children? No. Okay. Have you ever been married before? No. You have any children? I do. You do how many? I have two. Two? Mm -hmm. uh, boy or girl? Two boys. Two boys? How old are they? One of them is a year and a half, and the other one's almost two years. You're not two years old? I mean, one of them is a year and, and like one month, and yeah. the other one's almost two years. I just have them one next to the other. So okay. Where do they live? I live with the mother. Um, there's a university, and I don't forget the I forget the road, so it's just it's, it's close by. Yeah. So your one son was born right when you kind of right when you got together with Maria. Uh exactly. Yeah. The the last one is uh we just met at the you know right like right up at the same almost the same. So you you lived together with her the the mother of your children did you? Yeah, I was living together with separate. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't living with Maria when I met her. I mean, okay. you know, I met Maria, you know, we met up and we always hang up or, you know, go to clubs and things like that. Yeah. And then we decided to, you know, to, you know, to make something formal and something serious. So, okay. How did you get, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in a club. I mean, I was just, uh, then I was trying to buy a pizza and she was in the parking lot with the car and, you know, it just met outside of the club. At the time of their meeting, Namath was fresh from her divorce and most likely was still trying to process the end of that relationship. Something. Where do you guys usually go out? Uh, we, we don't go out no more. In the beginning, we used to go out every club. So. Okay. Uh, but that's for the first month. And after that, then when we decide to be together and, you know, make things a little bit more serious, then we... Uh, we just got to movies or we got to just uh, chilies, things like that, you know, nothing of what clubs and... Yeah, so you're more settled down now and uh, yeah, doing and movies, dinner... Yeah, you know, so, you know like something normal, kind of like something like that, that, you know, out of the bad life, you know, okay. you know what I mean? Because clubs and chill it always bring you bad things. Yeah. So, 
And you guys just socially drink or? Uh, yeah, man, we, we like to drink. Yeah. I mean, I don't consider myself like, as an alcoholic, but I like to drink. I like to have my beer once in a while. And, you know, when we move here, the all this day we've been drinking, you no, know, like, like, like a lot, like uh, every day, it's because I have to go to work. Yeah. But when I come back from my work, I would drink Coco Beers. Okay. You know? So what about Maria? Maria, the same thing. She she don't drink unless I, unless I drink, you know? So it's she knows how, she likes to drink, but she knows I get mad if she drinks by herself because I know she gets like a little crazy when she drinks. Okay. So, but um, since, uh, since I'm off today, yesterday I told her, hey, you know, let's go to Chili's. We bought some, you know, margaritas. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we go to the uh, a ABC or something like that. It's a liquor store, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's go. So let's start today. You're you worked today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. Did you, did you work Saturday? Yeah, I worked Saturday. Okay, what time did you get off? I get off around around four twenty. Around four twenty. Exactly. I have the I have my papers and my receipt. Yeah. And uh, what about her? her? What time is she? Uh, she went. She went to work. Also, she went to work yesterday. She she don't work weekends, but she went uh, to the office yeah. uh, for a couple hours, two hours. Okay. So today, uh, All right. So um, you get off work and you come home to the apartment, or you go somewhere else? No, I went straight to the apartment, uh, take a shower, and then um, uh, she she was cooking dinner. Dinner was ready made. And what we did you guys eat? At, at the house. Yeah. What did you eat? What did you uh, We uh, she made chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Um, and uh, beans and rice. Okay. So we just eat and we went to Miami um, uh, to see my mother. Around what time was that? Mm. That was around seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six thirty to seven, seven forty, something like that. Okay. Then when we get out for, from Hialeah, we just we just went straight to the to the. The chilies, right next to the apartment. Okay, so you went to chilies before going back home. I, exactly. Okay. All right. Exactly. And you got the chilies around what time? Oh, we get the chilies around like eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight fifteen, something like that. I'm, I'm not pretty sure, but it's, it was just something like that. Okay. And then how long did you stay there for? We stayed there for like an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour and twenty minutes. Okay. We only drink. Uh, she drink one uh, one margarita. I drink two margaritas. Actually, we drink uh, one and a half each of us. So, okay. Because the other one we, we split. Uh, Sharing. Uh, yeah, we share. Was anybody else with you? No. The detective is trying to determine how much alcohol was consumed and when it started. This will be used to help decide if this was a spur of the moment crime or if it was premeditated, so that they can be accurate when they charge Lopez for his crimes. Just me and her, okay. the um, bartender. We went just straight to the bar. We, we were on the table, nothing like that. What, and who, uh, you have a car? A, a, a car? Do you, have, you drive? I drive, but uh, I'm using her car. Using her car. Yeah. Okay, what so kind of car does she have? She have a Scion TC, 2009. A what? Scion TC. Scion? Scion. Oh, Scion. Scion. Okay. Scion. All right. Um, so you use her car when you have to go to work or when yeah, you have to go Yeah, uh, you know, she would just walk to the office and she don't need to use the car, so then I'm using the car to go to my job. And, yeah, you know. absolutely. Okay, so you guys go get the chilies, have uh, margarita, then where do you guys go? Um, and we went to the liquor store, to ABC, right in front of uh, the Sargas Mall, at the side. And, uh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then we buy a bottle of um, um, 18, 1800 or something like that. Okay. I, I, I never drink that before, so. That's tequila? Yeah, that's tequila, it's tequila, so. All right. We buy that, we went to the house. Around what time did you get back to the house? Oh. I mean, you had, you uh, well, So it, it wasn't like not far away from, it wasn't not even 10 o'clock, I believe so. So before 10? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Time. Time. Anybody at the house when you get back? No, sir. All right. No, no. no one lives with you. Just you two live there together. Yeah, just you didn't have anybody uh, over. No one visiting. No, nobody. Nobody. Okay. nobody. Um, all right. So tell me about the night from when you get back to the house. Tell me what happened. 
Okay, okay, um, we get to the house. She was already like kind of tipsy from the margaritas and the chilies. Um, you know, we start to drink. Um, we put like two car cardboard, um, you know, boxes in the floor. We put the lime on top, and you know, because we, we don't have furniture, so we're about to buy. I want to get paid. We're about to buy furniture, TV, the, the TV, and things like that. You know. Okay. And so we put the two boxes on the floor in the li on the dinner room, and then we start drinking and talking and listening to music, and you know we have a lot of shock of the tequila. Then I don't know, you know, uh, in my in my position, me I can handle it, you know, I can handle drinks, because some you know sometimes uh, you know you go a little crazy. And she was she was a lot crazy, and so she was asking me for stuff that she never asked me for for that before. So, like what? You know, like you know the thing with the arm and shit like that. And you know I never done that shit to, uh, with nobody, especially with her. So. Uh, so what? Explain what what kind of stuff was she asking? What do you mean with the arm? I mean, it's, first she she start talking like. Uh, something like you know, like uh, I was uncomfortable with it, you know, like uh, one day I want you, I want you to put a bottle on, on my pussy, you, you know. Sorry, I'm just talking right now with you guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want you to you be know, open and respect free. her, and absolutely, and you know, you're, and not dis you're not disrespecting her. You're just telling us what she told you, yeah. what she had, what I she know, wanted you to do. You know, and it's no disres not disrespectful. Uh, you know, I'm a man. I'm I'm her man. So whatever she asks me, I do it. Okay. You know, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. Even if she want me to put my hand in her pussy, I put it. Okay. I put it. So she was telling me that, and then I don't, I'm, I don't remember really uh, if I did it with the bottle too, or if I did not, because I really, I was really, really, really. What, what kind of, what kind of bottle are you talking about? It's a beer bottle. A beer bottle. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. What what did so what ended up happening? I know she was asking you to do these things. Yeah, she was asking me all those stuff, and I, you know, I was starting feeling like uncomfortable, like you know, because she never asked for that, and I know she was tipsy. And, but um, when we were doing stuff and all the things, uh, she told me she wanted to throw up to get out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I get out of the bathroom, and uh, we, you know, I was outside. I uh, was smoking a cigarette. I don't remember if the door was already break or something. I really don't know. I know I break it because she 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 is not strong enough to break it. What door are we talking about? The, the, the glass door. I I, yeah, I, I, I just remember I see glass on the floor, man. I really don't remember when I break it or why I break it. You know, to be honest with you, I really don't don't remember. Okay. The only thing I remember clearly is that I went to the bathroom and she was like, you know, breathing. She was like, like this. And then it's when I called 911. And where, where was she? In she was like uh, between the toilet and the, and the, the shower thing. Like, just honey, like. It is glaringly obvious that Lopez is lying. The severity of Namath's injuries is incompatible with the hesitant attempts at stimulation that Lopez has described. And I thought she was throwing me in the, in the shower, I mean, but, uh, you know, she wasn't. I mean, you thought she was throwing up? I thought she was throwing up, but, you know, I don't hear any noise, so I'm not the go where she announced it, and I'm getting it straight to that she wasn't breathing. Uh, you know, she was, she was constant, she was talking to me, Yeah. you know, but... You know, one moment I get so so nervous and scared, and then I get the phone and call 911 because she was getting worse and worse. And you know, I don't know. Who's, and whose phone did you use to call 911? The 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 the, the wife phone. I mean, I don't remember what I from. We were listening music with a phone and the Bluetooth. Okay. All right, uh, but I really don't 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 remember where I grabbed the phone for. I called 911 and then, and then when I was gonna call 911 again, I didn't find the phone. I don't remember if it should take it or if it should throw it or something. What I remember is that I put a battery in the phone. The battery? Yeah, the battery in the phone. I don't remember where really where I find it, but I put the battery in the phone and called 911 again. 
But when before I call, I went outside and I see you guys. So it's when I tell the police officers or whatever were there, like, come up, it's right here. Now, when you called 911, was she, was she still breathing? No, man, she wasn't. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't. I was trying to give her CPR, man. I, I remember I was kissing her and put some air in her stomach. was like up and down, man. I mean, she wasn't breathing. I, mean, I don't know when somebody is dead or not because I well, never seen the body before. Okay. You I mean, said um, when you first went into the bathroom and you saw her, she was breathing. She was breathing. She was conscious. Okay. All right? She was like... <gasps> And that's what I call 911. And where was she in the bathroom again? She was like in the toilet, between the toilet and the and the and the shower. The, the, the okay. The is thing. is it a is it a shower or a bathtub? Uh, yeah, the a bath. So it's not it's just like a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a jacuzzi. Like, okay, you know. so it's not a, just a stand up shower. No, if you want to no. take a bath, you can take a bath in it. Exactly, exactly. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know how to say that. No, no, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's okay. Like, like a, was she in the tub? No. I was, I was trying to put her there, but I couldn't lift her up. I mean, I was strong. And I don't want her to hit her head or hit something or something, you right, know? Right, right, sure. You know? And uh, but the last thing I do is just put some cold water on her face. I open the shower. Okay. I put some cold water on her face to see if she reacts, and I start, hey, baby, you okay, baby, you okay? I start screaming like a motherfucker, and nobody here, you know? I don't know, neighbors might be here, might be here, me scream. Okay. I was screaming for, for help. Right. Is that what you were screaming, is help? Yeah, I was screaming for help, man. Screaming anything else? No, man, I was just, baby, why you do this to me, baby? Wake up, baby. Help, 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 right. you know, because I don't know the address. Sure. I call 911 and tell them, hey, reach my number or something. I don't know how do you guys work. I mean, like, I know you guys have the system, you know where the call comes from, but, you right. know. So when you, you you say that you, you dialed 911 the first time and you're, you're screaming okay. during that time. Okay, I was, uh, uh, what? Were you screaming, you called 911 the first time? I called 911 the first time. Yep. Okay. Did you when actually I, speak to somebody? I speak to somebody. Okay. I All spoke right. to somebody, but uh, she was asking me, "Where are you?" The address. You know, I was so nervous that I just. Took During this time, Lopez panicked. He knew there would be no way to cover up his actions completely, and his only option was to try and come up with a plausible story. The phone. May I also want to throw the phone away and put it away then. Stop, baby, and scream on her because I was so nervous and I had. I really don't have the patience to deal with. The address that I don't know where yeah, I know, know my where. girl is dying right there, man. You yeah. know what it is? Uh, you know, and when I was gonna call for second time, that I find the phone, I went outside and I see the police and everything. Okay. You know, but it's that's that's what happened, man. Get fucking... Okay, so let's let's go in a little more detail about from when you guys start drinking and and become sexually active to when she ends up in the bathroom. Okay. okay we need to talk about that time. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of sexual acts did you perform tonight? What did you guys do? What I can tell you, I didn't came. Okay. That's, that's one thing I can tell you for sure. For sure, I didn't came. Okay. Did you have intercourse? Did you put your penis inside of a vagina? Yeah. Okay, did yeah. you wear a condom? And no, I did. We didn't. We didn't even open the new box. We buy a, a box of condom today. I mean, yesterday, last night, we buy a new box of condom with the bottle. We buy the bottle and then we went to the gas station. Okay. We buy the condoms. Okay. Now, now I got that. Okay. We buy the condoms. And then we went, you know, but I don't use any condom at all. I, I don't even touch the, the, the new pack, so okay. it, maybe it's still there. You, you can see if you, you guys go to okay. the picture, okay. you will see okay. it. And then, you know, she was, you know, I, I was strong. She was strong. She was telling me for me to do stuff that I never done before with nobody, especially with her. Okay. And, you know. I know it might be a little embarrassing. Are you waiting for one of But That's listen, I want, you, need to do. I want you to tell me what kind of things. Because you're was, saying she's asking you to do things. I want you to explain. She wants me to put my, you know, my arm on her pussy. And, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, like a 
open-minded and do it for themselves. I don't know. Okay, and what, what type of things did you do? I know she's asking you, what did you actually do? Everything she told me to do, I do it. Okay. Which is what? What did she ask you to do? I put my arm in her pussy. I uh, put my dick in her pussy. I, I believe I got the bottle. It was a, it was a, a small bottle. It was a, like a beer bottle or something like that. And she want me to put that too. You know, I just tried to make her happy, mm -hmm. whatever. I understand. But she was concerned. She was like, she she wasn't like no cow or something like that. I would never do that to my girl, no okay. cow. You know, okay. that that's not me, man. That's not me. But once we're when we do the thing with the arm, that was the last thing. She she was telling me, I need to throw up. I don't feel good, or something like that. Where, where then, did this take place? Huh? Where was this when that happened? In the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. It was, we start. We start from 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 the from the like. I think we were starting the in the in the closet. I don't remember pretty well, but we were in the closet too, man. You know. Okay, so let's we go step by them. step. You guys start. Yeah, you said you had some boxes and you set up like a little area. Listen. And you're playing some music. I know we I know we have sex. I know I put my arm in there. I know I put a bottle. But to be honest with you, details, details, details like that, I cannot tell you, man. I was drunk just like her. Okay. I was drunk just like her. You know, I would love to tell you every details, you know, and I'm, I'm doing my best right now. I understand. I understand. You we know? just want to make sure that we're, we have everything that occurred and happened so that when we look at her, we can understand what, what we got. Okay? That's all. And you know what I know. Last last thing, it, when she told me get out of the bathroom, we were in the bathroom. Okay. But I know we went to the closet too. I don't remember when or where uh, or how, but we went to the closet. We, we, we were all around and like what, what was going on in the closet? Uh, same thing. Said and uh, I believe the bottle thing it starts there or something like that. What what other kind of things did you put inside her vagina? Lopez is telling a partial truth. They did begin to make love in the closet before he became enraged. But Namath never asked him to use items on her. This is the bottle, my arm, my dick. You know, that's it. That, that thing, you know, that's it. She was... Lopez also inserted a flat iron in Namath. She was crazy, man. And I was crazy too. When we walked, we walked for drunk. I mean, like, you know, I liked it. She liked it. She sure, there's nothing wrong with that. When Get drunk and I get drunk. I mean, like, uh, whatever. Listen, you're talking to two grown men. We understand. You know how it is, man. Um, now, so have you know. ever done anything like this before? No, man. And has she ever asked to you? To be honest like with you, before? no. No, that's what I was kind of surprised today. You know, that's what I was kind of like a little surprised today because she never. We had get drunk together. Okay. But she never asked for that. But today she. She did it. I mean, I don't know because she drank too much. Okay, the first time I see her like drunk like this, yeah. I never see her like without breathing or things like that. I understand. You know? All right, tell me, tell me about the argument. Tell me about any issue, the argument when you got home tonight. Uh, when we got home tonight. Yeah, once you got home in in the apartment, talk about that. Like, what, what was the what were you guys arguing about? No, but I mean, we, we were just talking and she was just telling me that thing. That one day I wanted to put bottle and, you know, I was feeling a little low, man, because, uh, you know, maybe I think that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not maker like, you not know. Satisfied. Exactly, which is not true because I know I make a sacrifice, but, you know, I know she was wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when somebody's wrong, says the truth. And we start arguing, but I thought, hey, baby, come on, this, uh, you know, let's, let's not fuck up this night tonight. Yeah. We're going to be okay. Then we'll listen to music, man. We're just drinking and drinking chocks. We were drinking two little cups like this, chocks and chocks and chocks. To be honest with you, I don't I don't remember when the, the glass broke or something like that, man. I really... Don't remember. So I know it's broke the, because I know I see glass in the floor. I understand. Away from so the argument was, she was, you were kind of upset. She was talking about your manhood. She, you thought that maybe. No, no, no. Really, was, I, you know, I was, I wasn't upset at all. I mean, I just feel a little like 
down, but now upset because you know I know she was wrong and tipsy or whatever, and I was the same. Yeah. And you know, being her, uh, you know, before when we were drink, I was you know not the violence with her, but uh, you know I have to uh, my violence I have to hit with something else, the wall, the car, or something. Okay. You know. And that I'm that kind of person, you know, not not just with her, just and I'm not drunk, sober. Even when I'm sober, the same person. Never hit her. Never touch a woman. You talked about the broken glass. Is there other things that you hit or broke tonight? You know, in my mind comes uh, the computer. Lopez went on a rampage. He broke various items, punched holes in walls, and shattered the sliding glass door. Comes the laptop. I, I believe is I see the laptop somewhere on the floor. Like, like you know, the laptop is uh, you know the the, the, the cable is uh, plug and unplugging. You know, okay. I see it in the floor somewhere. I don't know if I throw it or just go to the floor. What about doors or anything like that? There's some damage to the doors. I don't remember. Man. Walls. Was there any damage in that house prior to tonight? No, in the house there was no no damage at all. The house was completely uh, restored. Like everything was clean you know, and in order. No holes in the walls. No broken no holes in the wall. If you see holes in the wall, then I did that. Okay. Then I did that. All right. What about doors? Rip doors off the wall, like uh, closet doors. I don't know, man. I've so any damage that w occurred damage inside that apartment that house, tonight? I did. It. You did it tonight. I did. It. Okay. I know it wasn't her. But was it? Well, I think what he's asking you is, was it last night, or was there damage prior no, no, to last no, no, night? No, 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 but not before. No, no, no. Last night is when happened everything. Everything okay. happened last no, night. Nothing house, prior to nothing, last night. Nothing, 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 nothing. The house was perfect, 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 clear. I took the responsibility for every holes and everything broken there. I did it. I know I did it. She, she never do that. Okay. I know and, I did and, it. And why did you do it? The, you know, that's the problem. I don't know why, man. We were drinking, and I don't know why. That's, that's the problem. I'm, I'm trying to make up in my mind why did I do that. Mm -hmm. When I do that, it's because I'm pissed. You okay. know? But I don't know what makes me pissed. Well, no such fight occurred, and there is no real benefit for Lopez in telling this lie. Still, between the alcohol and the shock, he didn't have much time to come up with anything better. And at this point, he is hoping this will at least allow for the possibility of manslaughter charges rather than murder. Maybe she was talking about her her ex uh, husband or something, or something like that. Because okay. we, we, that makes I sense. Know, you know, I remember today that she was just mentioning him about something. Like what? Uh, I don't. Know. Uh, she was mentioning the the uh, somebody from her family that don't like him or something. It's, don't mention him like a, like a good thing, you know, just something like a bad thing, but still mentioning him. But I don't think that's a reason why I get mad. I get mad for something else. I don't remember whatever I break or whatever I do. You, do, you get, do you get upset when she brings up her husband or brings up past relationships? Uh, not really, man. You know, like, she never does that. She knows that. She never does that. I mean, she never talk about her. Is, she knows he's a motherfucker, I mean, between you and I. Yeah. Uh, she knows that he's not a good guy, so she never she never put him in conversation with things like that. No. So I never get mad because of that. Today she mentioned him but because of somebody of her family don't like him, that's all. So I don't get you know, mad because of that. I don't know why I break the door. I really, really, really want to my top of my mind and trying to remember, but I'm thinking, I don't think, you know, right now in my mind, the only thing I know is my first day. Okay. The, how, do you, how do you, when you say she's dead, at one point in time, you said she was breathing um, when you found her in the bathroom. When do you think she passed away? Ah, really? Uh, when she told me to get out of the bar, she want to throw up. I think she was fine. I think she want to throw up and be okay. But when I, when I went to the bathroom, she was like not breathing, like <clears throat> some like 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 a heart attack or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really I'm not a doctor.
Yeah. And then is when I call the police. I mean, like, really, really makes me really nervous. I never see her like that. One time, but you know, I just put on the, the bed, the baby, you know, and she relaxed, everything good. Okay. But this time was different, very different. Because this time she drinks a lot. Yeah. Who put the, the you, the, there's a sink on. A what? There's a sink on in the bathroom. The sink, the bathroom sink. The water is running. The water is running. The water is running? In the sink, yeah. And the sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The water in the sink is what's running. It was me. Okay, do you remember putting it on or why you put it on? No, nah, man, I really, I really don't know. I, I know I opened the, the shower and put, tried to put water on her face. That's, I remember I opened the shower. I don't know. Uh, the sink, maybe do the same thing. I, I really don't know, man. I was really. Did you, did you put, try to put her into the tub? I tried to, but it's just like I, I was wrong and I don't want to hit her, so I just put it like uh, next to the, the, you know, right in the middle of the door when you get into the bathroom, you just put her there, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, and trying to give her a CPR. I don't, I don't even know how to give a CPR, but she wasn't breathing at all. She was with her eyes like uh, open, but not moving. And I, was, I mean, I was. Care, man. And I was waiting for police or raking to go to go over there, man. Yeah. You know, once I see she, and I was screaming. I was in the floor, trying, trying to make her alive again, and the screaming, baby, will you do this to me, baby? Help, help, help! Somebody has to hear me, man. I yeah. mean, I believe the door is already break when that happens. So somebody from outside has to hear me. Uh, the glass was already broke. Uh, the glass, the glass was already broke. Yeah. When? How long ago? What, the glass was broke. When did that? When did that happen? <laughs> if I tell you, man, I I lie to you right now because I really don't know when I break the door. I don't know with what because I don't got quotes in my head. Okay. And you know, it, some you know normally when you break a glass, you caught at least a little bit in your your hands. Yeah. And I don't know if I did it with something or use something. I know I don't use her. <laughs> That's for sure. You don't wet her. I, I don't use her to break the glass, man. Wow. I never hit. I never hit no woman's none in my life, man. I don't do you know. remember? Do you, did you uh, during your argument or into when you were upset tonight? Do you remember punching her? No, or man. With her or anything no. like that? No, man. Okay. Have you ever punched her, hit her, or struck her no. in the past? No. Nothing physical. Nothing. Nothing. We just agreed. That's it. Okay. That's it. What about has she ever been physical towards you? No. Has she struck you, no. punch you? Anything no, no, tonight? She's not like that. She's not like Nothing that. tonight. Well, not tonight. One day she just hit me in my face three times because I told her. Uh, she said, "I'm gonna slap your face," and I like, do it. And she was wrong. Also, and she did it three times, hard as fuck. But that's when, it. when was that? Oh, we were living uh, Hollywood Bridge. Okay. Russell Street. What What did you do when she slapped you? Nothing. <laughs> it just stayed. Okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna remind you of this. Were you drunk too at that time? No. <laughs> I was sober. Also, I was sober. I was, you know, she drank at the same uh, as a, at the same level I drink. So, but you know, I can handle it because I'm, you know, I'm, I got big body, man, and she's small. She get drunk faster than me. Right. <laughs> Way faster. Lopez makes the odd choice to portray himself as being mostly sober. While his actions were vile enough, no matter what his level of intoxication, somehow the thought of someone being capable of this while sober is even more chilling. You know, but never, never, she never touched me, never touched her. Yeah. And you know, I don't, you know, I'm a man, man. I don't, I don't hit no woman. Okay. That's but you, you, but you do get upset. I get upset, but it doesn't mean that I can, you know, I'm poor with the hit, hit my girl or any girl. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like that. My family raised me really good about that. Okay. Um, so, any of the damage that, that occurred inside the apartment, you said that it was, you had done it, not her. And you said that what? any of the damage, the broken glass, uh -huh. the broken door. Is this a door broken too? Well, there's uh, a, I I holes in the wall. Holes in the wall. Holes? Oh, yeah, I did it with my hand. Okay. I did it. My question is this. You said it was last night, because before last night there was no problems, no broken glass, no, no problems. No, 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 no. Was it before or after you guys started being being sexual? Uh, for me, it was right, right, 
what you say, before we have sex. Before we have sex is when everything happens. When the door break, breaks, when one thing is break, everything else is going to be break. I know I get mad because of something. Right. Then we say, hey, I'm sorry, Rana, and we start make up uh, sets or whatever we did. You know? So, so you, okay. you, you everything is broke before we, before we have sets. Okay. Not after. Not after. Not after. Okay. So you, you guys are drinking, you have an argument, and everything, you, you, you get mad and start breaking everything. I mean, yeah. I okay. believe that's what happened, but I don't remember what I get mad Do you remember for. The, you remember making up? Like... Yeah, we just, we, we, you know, we talk and we, we, we have sets. I mean, if, we, if it's not, we, we don't have sets. Okay. Trust me, man. So my, my thing is, is if you remember kind of making up and having sex, what was the argument about? What what got you so enraged That's that you destroyed the house? That's what I don't remember, man. You know, I know we had the sets. I know we, I did the, those dirty things. And I know this because I never did this before. And it's a sh that shit is in my mind right now. Were you talking about sex before the argument? Oh, what? You said that she was asking you to do certain things. Was that before the argument or after? The yeah, argument? yeah, no, that was, that was way before. Uh, that, we were just drinking and she was like, I'm in the moon. She was, you know, telling me, not not telling me to do it today, but she was telling me, hey, one day I want you to do this, uh, you know. Uh, okay, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't pay attention to that. I know I get mad because of something, it wasn't because of that. It's something else. It was something else. I know I break everything. The story is full of outright lies and half-truths. The detective has already pointed out that Lopez conveniently can't remember what the fight was about. Yet, he is somehow able to remember everything else. I know, I, I did it. If you see, you see holes in the, in the wall and shit, I did that. She, she did it. I did that. I break the door. If everything is broke inside, I did it. Okay, I understand that. What, what I need to know is why you did it. What was that's told to you, or what problem, what man. what you were upset about? I don't remember. Why you broke man. it? I really don't remember. I, I need to know what she told you. I need to I need to know what you guys you were upset about. What the argument was about. I mean, you, then you ended up making up, but yeah, I mean, we it, ended up making <laughs> up. But what have you? What do you normally argue if, about? If if I tell you, man, I lied to you because I really don't don't remember. I really don't. I, I mean, you're, I, you're saying that she brought up you her know what? ex. You and know what? You got upset at that. A what? You saying that she's she brought up her ex, her ex boyfriend or ex husband? Hey, yeah, no, 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 but I don't get upset. But no, Nothing she, about she, that. No, she, no, that was in the beginning when we started drinking. She's mentioning that some of the, her family, I think it was the, her aunts or something, don't like him. But you know, it was, she wasn't talking about him. It's actually, you know, she was talking about her aunt. Okay. All right. But I don't get mad because of that, and I know that I break those, I put those holes in the wall, and it's because you told me. Because I, I really don't remember that I, that I did that, okay. you know? Okay. So... And I know I did it because you say it's holes in, in the wall, I did it. When when she she talked about putting certain things in her vagina, she started talking about that and you guys were discussing that. Was this before having sex or during? No. Well, she was telling me, she was telling me that when we were drinking and then we had the argument not because of that, maybe because of something else. If it would be because of that, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It's something else. And then in the end, we make them up and I make my mind because I know I did something wrong. I've uh, pushed a wall, I've uh, break the door, whatever. And, you know, I did whatever she wanted me to do with her. That's what I, you know, that's the way I, I feel like to do it. Mm -hmm. Because I know I did something wrong. I know I break the door, I know that. Uh, you know, and we both drunk. And I, you know, I, I do whatever she want me to do. I put the, put the bottle, it was a small bottle, I believe it was like beer bottle or something that she was drinking too. She was drinking the tequila and the beer. Okay. What kind of beer were you drinking? Uh, cause, cause like, or uh, really like something like that, man. Something. I don't, I really don't so remember. I know I have a blue moon inside of the fridge, but I don't know if it's that one, the one she was drinking or made it like, so. Something like that. Okay. So the bottle, the beer bottle, you put the beer bottle inside of her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. That was first that I put my arm. Before or after? If, uh, that, that was before I put my arm. Okay. Then when I put the beer bottle, and then she told me I put your arm. Did anything else between the beer bottle and your arm? I Not that I remember right now, man. I mean... How did you put the beer bottle in? Put it in. I mean, but how? 
Did you, the part that you drink out of, you put that in or you put the bottom in? I mean, what did you put in? The more Lopez is pressed on specifics, the more he is forced to rely on the loss of memory excuse. Slowly but surely, his story is breaking down. I really don't remember, man. I mean, like, I just put the bottle. I know do you I remember, the bottle. Do you remember taking the beer bottle out? Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't going to leave it there, man. I took him out. I took him out. Did you put the whole beer bottle in? Yeah. I, the I whole bottle? Just, just asking for it, man. You know, I did it. Okay. I did it. All right. And then, then beer bottle, then what's next? The, I think I used my dig between the beer, beer bottle. I didn't came at all because it really, uh, there was blood. Once I, you know, with the beer bottle, it was blood, man. I mean, I hate blood. So the, the beer bottle caused her to bleed? I think so. Did the beer bottle break? No. No. Not that, not that I know. It didn't break at all? No, that I know. There was, I mean, do you remember, was there any sharp, was there any, you know, if, it, if a piece of it broke, it's a glass bottle? Yeah, it's a glass bottle. I'm, I'm asking, is it? Yeah, you're asking. But it, it, so if it wasn't cracked, it shouldn't be sharp, right? Shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be sharp, like it will cut you. If it's not broken, it shouldn't I know, be sharp. It shouldn't be caught. Right. But remember, man, we're talking about a bottle that didn't speak. Right. So as soon as you took the bottle out, she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That was blood. I you know it was blood. And where was this at when this was happening? That was. Those were in the closet, trying, trying to move to the to the bathroom. Man. I really, you know, it was crazy, man. Everything was crazy. Everything was that just together, the, the, the break, the door, everything was. Was she was, was she standing was up? Like one woman, man. Right. Was I was she, drunk too, man. Was she standing up? Was she up and like walking? No, she was like a uh, four four point position. She like was, on her hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were going to have sex with her doggy style from behind? Exactly. Exactly. I don't know if we did it from behind. I really don't remember. I think so, too. So okay. how did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Walking. Oh, so she did walk. Yeah, she did walk. And she was she was wrong, but she was okay. But she was bleeding from the closet. She started bleeding in the closet. I don't know if she started bleeding in the closet. I know I see blood. I see blood. I didn't realize, but when I see my hand, it was blood. And then in the bathroom, I know there's blood coming from her pussy. Namath would have had to have been in an incredible amount of pain. Walking that far in her condition probably wouldn't have been possible. Okay. You know, and I thought, and she said, it doesn't matter, it don't hurt, huh? Okay, baby, what, what do you want me to do? Put your arm in me. Like, baby, sure, huh? Yeah. But she was like, you know, was she when, I, when I stopped putting the arm and then, like, like five minutes after that, she told me, I'm going to get out of the bathroom, I need to throw up. Okay. So when you were in the bathroom, in, in the closet, cor correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is when you put the beer bottle in her? Yeah, in the closet, I think so, yeah, in the okay. closet. Okay, and she was on, in what position? And she was in like a, like a doggy style position. And you were behind her? Yeah, I was behind her. Okay, and, you, and you put the beer bottle inside I her. put the beer bottle inside. Now, was it a situation where you just... Just put it in, or were you moving in and out? I'm moving in and out. Moving, in, moving and out. in and out. Okay, you know? and that's when she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I see blood in my hand. Once we went to the bathroom, I didn't realize it was blood, you know? And she walked to the bathroom, and I went there, I see my hand, it's a blood. Okay, but... And I know that's a the beer bottle, I know. It have to okay. be. Okay, is, did you did you put your, your arm or your fist inside of her in the in the closet as well? No. I didn't. That, that, that I did in the bathroom. Okay. When you got when when you got into the bathroom, what position was she in when you were? Same position as the by the beer bottle. She Same. was on the floor. On the floor. On 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 all fours. Yeah, she was like a doggy stop position. And you were behind her. I behind her. Same position. And she said, and she asked you to put your. She asked me to do it, and I said, baby, are you sure? Am I gonna hurt? She said, no, I don't care. You know. And I tell you, you got blood. I said, oh, okay, it's not hurting. Okay. She, okay, but she wasn't menstruating? She didn't, was, did she have a period? No, she don't, man. She had a period like two weeks ago. So it's not possible. And not pregnant at all, too. I mean, like, I how, do you, how do you know she's not pregnant? Oh, I don't know that, man. You know. Did she was? No, I don't know. I'm asking no, you. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she was. You said that... Because I'm always... I never came inside, inside of her. You know, I'm always, you know... Okay. Use protection and, you know, 
you know, I, I know make the same mistake twice. You know? Okay. I already did it twice, and no more, man. Yeah. We were ready to do one, but wait, you know, in the future. So you don't, you don't think she was pregnant? I don't think so. I never came inside her. Never, okay. never, never, never. Now, the, there's blood. There's a lot of damage that's in the house. There's a lot of things. Is there anything else besides the beer bottle in the closet that you put inside of her? There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of items on the floor. A lot of items like what? You tell me and I tell you if I did it or not. Um, because man, I, I really don't remember, man. I remember the flashlight. Beer bottle. There's like a, a flashlight. Light. There's some kind of like a flashlight. There's, um, there's a, a flat iron. A, girl, you, a, a long, thin, flat iron girl that you women use for their hair. Oh, it's flat, yeah, the, the like thing. a curler. Maybe. Lopez did use the flat iron, but he knows that getting the detectives to believe that Namath asked for that will be a harder story to sell than her asking him to use the bottle. Maybe. Did she ask me for a beer bottle, everything similar to that thing? Maybe. I'm, you know, not that I remember for sure my arm and the beer bottle. Okay. Besides that, if you find anything, maybe. What, maybe. About a, what about a coat hanger? A what? Like a coat hanger, or a, you know, that you hang clothes with? Uh, I don't think so. Anything that would have like a hook or a sharp that something caused her to bleed. Something cut her. Something cut her. I mean, that she was bleeding. I have to be some of those stuff. Maybe my arm too, but she half blocked before I used my arm. Before you used your arm. Yeah, so the, the bleeding and right the, the injury occurred it, most likely in the closet because that's where you first started putting things inside. Yeah, I, I don't remember if it's blood in the closet. I really don't remember that, you know, having anything, man. It's, I just I just got her a CPI because I was nervous. I was, you know, she cannot breathe. I called 911 right away because I really get scared, man. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't look around. I don't remember anything. I know I used the bottle. Well, you, I, used I know you keep saying you don't remember, but you do remember. Yeah, you kind of kind of stuff, kind of stuff, uh, little by little. But for and real, it's important that you remember as much as you can, and you I tell know. us, and you're I honest know. and truthful about what happened. I'm always true. I'm always okay. true. I'm telling you everything. Everything I accept. Everything I did, I accept it. And I and I and I, and I understand it. that you're you're a man and you're 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 accepting it. But we need to know details. We need to know exactly what happened to her, why it happened, what you were upset about. Those things are that you're. You're remembering everything, but there are certain things that you're not remembering, and I think it's because it's hurting you inside. No, man, it's, no, it's, not really. It's, it's like you're. Maybe if I already that, tell you about the arm, uh, I can tell you everything else. I understand. That's I understand you put your arm, but there's a reason why you were upset. I, I, that, and I that, don't know, man. Listen, I was wrong. I know when I. The, well, you kind of touched on it. You said that you know you you, she wanted you to do certain things. And yeah, that yeah. was like, hey, wait, am I not? It makes me feel it, down, but I'm not upset. Okay, not upset. Not to not to break the door and things like that. I have to do something else. Something that I don't remember. Something that I don't remember. I cannot tell you, man. If I tell you right now, I'll be lying to you because I really don't know what to say about it. I don't want to be telling you, ah, she told me this, but it's not true. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I take the fall for everything is broke. I know I did it. I know I did, but I don't know why. So you're saying everything in that house you did, everything that occurred in that house was caused by you? Yeah, the every in, breaking things and everything. The injuries that she has inside of her? Uh, injuries that she has. Uh, maybe I did it, you know? I put the stuff in her. She did it by herself, but she was asking me to do it. You know? You know? Before I mean, I did nothing like, I, I didn't force her to do anything. I understand, I'm just trying I want to make sure that we have anything. The I never forced her to do anything that she don't want. To. Before last night, you yeah. said this is, last night was the first time she asked you to do these things mm -hmm. with the bottle yeah, and, your, first and, time, and, your, and your fist. First time. Before last night, what is the kinkiest or craziest thing sexually you two have ever done? Before last night. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. That's okay. it. Nothing else than that. Not even porno movies. So you went from. Pretty, van pretty vanilla, pretty tame. Like, like not doing too much. Not doing too much. Nothing normal crazy. Sex. Just normal no, sex. No, normal sex. Right. Normal. normal you said sex. not even porno movies to watch. Not porno movies. Okay. Man. So normal sex. Normal sex. To way over here, 
where now she wants a beer bottle a beer and bottle, your fist inside of her. And all that shit. I don't know why she was telling me that for two, because she was drunk or I don't know why. Well, I mean, had you ever had sex with her prior to her? I mean, last night. Was last night the first time you two had sex while she was drunk? No, man, no. We had done it before, okay, so. but, but last night she was drunk, drunk, drunk. You know? Okay. And, you know, it was a, we both were drunk, very drunk. But you've had sex with her prior to last night when you both have been drunk, right? We had sex before drunk. Right. But, you know, like but, drunk. She, but, she's, never, she, but you she's never asked you to do anything like this. Being drunk wouldn't be enough for Namath to make such an uncharacteristic request especially if it excluded proper preparation and care. Doing just any one thing on the list that Lopez has given would be enough to put her in enough pain to prevent her from going further. Uh, no, she just uh, put her pussy on my, you know, my, my, my mouth. Some, you know, normal things. Listen, normal sex. We're all men here. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've eaten her out. She's exactly. blown you. Okay. Exactly. 69. You've exactly. had intercourse. Probably in different positions, doggy yeah, exactly, style, missionary. Exactly, 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 exactly. You know, she's probably sat on but top of you. But last night is the first time that she asked me for shit like that. I don't know. I, she don't do no drugs. When you guys are having sex, are the lights on? Is it? Is it? Is there lights uh, on? To, tonight it was. That's what I mean. It may be. Maybe some. It, uh, one day is on. One day is off. What about tonight? Like tonight the they were they were on, man. The bedroom lights were on. on. They were on. That's bathroom that's right. lights on. Bathroom lights are, were on, and the closet I don't remember because I I don't remember see the blood. I see it in my hands when we went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but uh, they, and now I see it in the closet. So, you know, and right. I know it was she would, did, at any time did she say that it hurt or she was in pain or anything like that? Man, I just I was asking her, baby, does not hurt you? And she was saying no, keep doing it. it just like. You know, and the, and the language and the had, drunk language. It had to hurt a little bit. I know, man. I know. I, I know. Completely understand that. But you, you, you just want me to keep doing it. I, do, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It's her pussy, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't have a pussy. Mm -hmm. after, even after you saw she had been bleeding? I tell her, baby, you're bleeding. Right. And she said, it doesn't hurt. That's what she told me. I don't know if it, because she was drunk. I was drunk too, man. Listen, I love sex. I don't know. You know, I love to see her pussy, whatever, you know? Right. But the, the, the first thing that you can remember is putting a bottle inside of her. That's yeah, the first that's, thing. that's one of the, that's the first thing, man. That's the first thing. That's, and that comes to a conversation, too. It doesn't make me pissed or nothing. Something oh, she, made, that's what you guys talked about initially? That no, no, not initially. We, we talk about everything. We talk about family, my family, everything. I mean, our future, whatever. And, you know, you know, conversation, and then she mentioned it. She mentioned about the bottle and things like that. that that's, that's where I'm a little confused. You guys are drinking, talking about family, you know, doing no, normal time. But, you know. but the, and you've never done anything like this before. You've never, she's never asked you to do anything like this. You weren't like in the mood listen. at that, you went from point A to put we're a bottle love, inside of me. Listen, we're in love yeah. with Sheba. Yeah. We we always we always try to do everything to make the other one happy. Absolutely, you You're know. Good man. And then, you know, in one part of the conversation, no, of course, I'm not, she ain't gonna be talking about her father. And from there, she tell me, I want you to put a bottle on my on my purse. You know, she she mentioned it, but we're talking about something like sexual, like something good, like something that we wanted to do together. And she mentioned that. Did she say this is something that, she, like a fetish that she had, or does she, like some, yeah, yeah, she should be a fantasy, man. She Are you talking about it. your fantasies tonight? Yeah, no, me, man. I mean, like, I'm, you know, my my fantasy is just be with her, man, and yeah. I cannot do that shit no more. Did she want to do anything to you sexually that was kind of crazy that maybe made made you angry? Uh, maybe she would want to. Do something, but no, I don't think so, man. She, 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 she knows I'm a man, man. I mean, I, nothing that she can do that makes me mad, man. Whatever she want to do, do it. I'm, I'm okay with that. To you? Except, yeah, except my ass. Everything is okay, and she don't, she don't do that kind of stuff, so. But you did get mad. I did get mad because of something, man, but I don't know why. Lopez can't explain what they were fighting about, nor why Namath would want to engage in acts where trust and care would be paramount while both of them were angry. Well, we need to figure that out. Well, we need to figure it out. I mean, so what would make you mad? No idea. What kind of, what kind of things would enrage you? 
You guys have any problems in your relationship? No, man, not at all. We're, no. we're good. What about another guy? No, man. What if you found out that she was with another man? Huh? No, no, man. No, what if you found out she was with another guy? If I found out, then I'd leave her. That wouldn't make you upset? i will make me upset, but I'd Would it make her. you punch holes in the wall? Uh, maybe. Okay. Right. Uh, maybe it made me punch the guy, too. But right. not her. I understand that. Oh, I, I'm not. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to figure out what made you enraged and what got you upset. I'm trying to figure it out too, man. I don't even remember when I punched the, the walls, man. I don't even remember that. Like we no, both, we I know both I are, we it. both are guys. We both know. Like if I if I got to a point where I was I was so pissed off, I would kind of have an idea of what I would be upset about, especially if it was involving my wife. <laughs> but listen, girl. Man, when you're drunk, you don't know. That's the problem. Yeah. You're intoxicated. You don't know. You don't know, I was intoxicated just like her. Yeah. You know, I really don't know what I get mad about. When you're intoxicated, you, get mad, you can get mad about anything. Yeah. You know, you, you don't control your mind. Was she upset at you for punching the walls? Was she upset at you for breaking oh, things yeah. in the house? Oh, yeah, maybe. You, she might. I know we make love. We make love and everything because I said sorry. And, you know, I know I said sorry because if it's no, we, we would never make love. But I'm not the so you're you're pretty sure that all the damage was caused before you had sex. Oh yes. Oh yes. So that what I'm pretty sure there was an argument, there was damage, there was a makeup, and then there was sex. And that was it. And then she told me, "Get out of the bar and you throw up." And it's, it's when all this shit happens, man, she couldn't she couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe. I hear her, but I don't hear any noise. When I opened the door, she was like. Like this, like like you, you don't get earned to your to your. So, to your. let me ask you this: When she says to you, "I don't, I, I gotta throw up, get out of the bathroom." Uh huh. You left the bathroom. I thought, "Baby, you okay?" He says, yeah, 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 okay." I left the bathroom. Did she shut the door? No, no, no. I leave it. I leave it. I leave it. I leave it like like this, like no closed, but almost know, closed. It's just just in case. You know, okay. I'm not gonna close okay. the door. So she's in there. What did you? What were you doing? Where, where were you at? What did I you do? went outside and smoked a cigarette. You went outside. Yeah, to the back room. Okay. And was was then go ahead. I'm that's sorry. when I see that the glass is broke, and I think uh, one one glass almost getting to my feet is when I realized that that thing was broke. But I don't remember about punching the the wall. You say you see the holes. I did it. I put a no remember. Okay. It is when I see that so, glass in the in the in the floor okay. in the carpet. So she's in the bathroom because she says she's got to throw up. She wants you to get out. Uh -huh. You go out to the balcony and smoke a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea. How long were you out there? How long were you not with her? How long was she in the bathroom before you went in and found her? Ten, fifteen minutes. Ten, fifteen minutes. Ten, fifteen minutes. You know, like I remember pretty well. Uh, Ten to fifteen minutes because I used to. I smoke cigarettes when I'm when I'm drunk. I smoke it very very fast. How you many know? cigarettes did you smoke? I smoked I smoked one cigarette. All right, then I went over there and I hear her. I say, "Baby, you okay?" And then I open the door. Is when I see her like this. Okay, and when you when you found her in that, that at that time, I know we asked you before. I just want to make sure what Go what, ahead, what position was she in? She was like uh, between the, the the toilet and the and the the bath. Like, so. I thought she was going to throw up in the toilet or right. in the bed. Okay. You know, like uh, you was can she... throw up any, any, anywhere you want. Okay, so she was in between the two, the uh -huh. toilet and the bathtub. Was she leaning more on the toilet? Was she yep. leaning more on the bathtub? Was she... I really, right now, it's, it's, she was be between the both of them. Okay. I don't remember, you know, pretty well. I know she didn't throw up. Because she didn't throw up. There was nothing in the in the bath and nothing in the toilet. No, I don't. I don't know that I remember. Okay. You know that I remember. I know, and you know what? I don't hear her throwing up. You know, you you see her, somebody throwing up. You hear. Mm -hmm. I don't hear her. That's what I. You know. And she was like, and this one get scared. Call nine one one, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, like now, now at that point, break. you're up. You're walking. You're having a cigarette. You're walking around. You see her. You see your house. Like what? You see, like your apartment at that point. Yeah, you say man, you recognize I mean, that the glass is broke. I recognize. You that see the glass her. Is broke. Where she at? She's in the bathroom. At she that was point. in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom. Then I you have, the bathroom. Then you had like your little hallway, you have a closet, bedroom, and kitchen over here, right? So you have your kitchen, your bathroom, yeah, you your closet, kitchen, and bedroom. 
Yeah. So you're checking her and in that area. No, but she wasn't in that area. She wasn't in the bathroom. I know, I'm saying, but you find her in the bathroom. But if you stand at the bathroom, you can see your bedroom and right to the right. The, the bedroom? The bedroom. I, I, I don't care about the bathroom. I just I'm, I'm just telling you. Yeah, you can see the bathroom. You can, you can see so it. you see the area. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood in that area. You, did you see all that blood? Man, I don't even re realize. I, mean, I was just went outside smoking. I know there was blood. I told, I told her, I know it's blood. Yeah. Put the bottle. I know that something was bleeding, and I was hurt. But there was a there was a lot of blood. There was a lot of blood. I know. And the closet, and everywhere, in the bathroom, between the closet and the bathroom, there was a lot of blood. I know yes. it's a lot of blood. Did you try to clean it? No, man. Why should I have to try and clean it? She she was the one to have to clean it the next day. No, man. Okay, but you. When she says she's you want she wants you to leave and you're gonna go to she needs to throw up. You okay. go out and smoke a cigarette. Okay. When you come back, you see all that blood. Were you concerned about that? Did you find that? I that see the blood. I know there's blood. I know, but all that amount of blood, that wasn't a concern for you. Of course. And I told her, she said it's okay, it's okay. I know, but she's not she's not uh, conscious at that point. No, at that point not. But I told her. Because she was in the bathroom, but that's all, that was already the blow is already there. When she she say get out of the bathroom, and want to throw up, we already do the the thing and everything. And I told her there's a lot of blood. Has she ever bled before when you had sex? Um, yeah, a couple of times. Like while she's having her period? No. So she told me that she have um this kind of um, I don't know how to say in English um. A, a, a petite B or something like that. That yep. she, that she have uh, the, I don't know how. Hepatitis. Called. Yeah. Hep B. Hepatitis B. Yeah, something like that. And what is and what does she say? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know, the problem. I don't know if that's the problem or, or whatever. She said that she have um, you know, the photo you have inside the is for the alcohol, the photo the alcohol. Mm -hmm. She says it down in there is uh, is weak, something like Her that. Her liver. Yeah, some, yeah. I don't know if you said that in English like that, but okay. I don't know if that's could cause the reason to to blood, but uh, right, right. I, yeah, I don't but know. how much how much blood is uh, nothing uh, like she tonight? No, no, no. But tonight something was something different. Uh, tonight we did crazy shit, never done before. Lopez is trying to pretend that it is a normal reaction not to be surprised by that much blood, but there is no way that the average person wouldn't find it cause for medical care. Right. We had sex before. Just use me a day because you have blood. Yeah. But, like, but tonight, I mean, like, come on, man. I mean, like, look at No, no, it's crazy. Man. No, I, I understand. Now, the, what, I don't see, there's no blood on your arm. <laughs> man, I wash that up. It should That's be. what I'm asking. When you had you, did you clean up? Did you clean yourself up? Not myself up. I know, not exactly. Well, now I have blood, man, but, you know, come on. I put my hand on her. And I have blood. I'm not gonna leave the blood there. No, I, have I understand. To so you want, well, yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Do you want, know we soak, man. We, no, no, no. no I, I, I'm just saying. You just. What did you do? How, that's what I'm asking. What did you I do? You wash it off because I don't have any blood. Where, where Maybe you, there's the sink you see open. Where, where did you I wash it in, in the sink? It should be. Okay. In should the be. bathroom sink. In the bathroom, I guess. Okay. Uh, and yeah. where was she when you were washing it off? Uh, she was over there in the floor. She was like. She was like over there. She told me, "Get out! I have to I have to throw up, man." Okay. You At know? what point did you wash the blood off your arm? Right there, right there. Okay. And then I'll get out and smoke the cigarette. So you wash your arms, then you left. And then I left and we smoked a cigarette. And she said, "You want to throw up?" Said, okay. She didn't throw up. She was bleeding a lot. I know that. Mm -hmm. But she was okay until I get until I get to the bathroom and find her like she didn't breathe. That's what scrapped me up and I called the police or 911. I have to use the restroom. Yeah. You want to take a break? Yeah, I do too. You got to go to the bathroom? Uh, I need to smoke a cigarette, man. Like, cool. All right, let's go smoke a cigarette. Uh. <coughs> you want to eat? That's your food. It's a sandwich. Do you have water? You need another water? Okay. okay, just give me a minute, all right? I'm going to talk to my boss. All right. You, you writing something? No. Right. Go ahead. No. You okay? Right. I, I need another minute. 
Just want to make sure everything okay? You sure? Okay. Oh, this is not going to just doodling. Huh? Doodling. What? Doodling. Drawing. Drawing. What is that? Car? Hot rod? I see. Okay. Um, what is that? I'm just curious. I just like a caterpillar engine. Caterpillar engine? Yeah. Okay. We got we got a little bit of a problem. Okay. Yes. All right. I just got off the phone with our uh, crime scene, and the medical examiner is there. Okay, the doctor. And sh there's the injury to her is severe. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Inside of body. Yes. Um. Multiple injuries inside there, tissue ripped out. What is that? Tissue inside, all the insides out on the floor. What else? That's the that, cause of the day? Yeah, we think. You know the amount of blood that's in there? The, her insides were ripped out. Uh. What happened, man? What happened? Fidel, this is not a case of just rough sex. Yeah. Okay? This is not a case of rough sex. There's blood everywhere. Everywhere. So, listen, just tell us. I'm, you know, I'm just yes. doing whatever she was telling me to do. She wasn't man. telling you to do that. Because oh, that's, yeah. listen, Fidel, the amount of pain that she would have been in would have been unbearable. Okay? The amount the doctor just looked inside of her, and the amount of pain that she would have had, she wouldn't have been able to withstand it. I don't. I don't kill her, man. I don't. We didn't say. You, we we're not saying you I intended to. No one's saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you. You I, wanted to. I, I, I hear. I, I hear your remorse. Listen, I, I heard the remorse in your in your voice when when you're you're trying to get help, and I understand that you care for her, and this is someone that you love. I don't care. But man. however, there's injuries inside of her that need to be explained. She was telling me whatever the, the, what I was doing. She told me, do this, do it, man. She was telling me. I she understand, but that's, me. that, listen, you as a human being, you as someone that loves this girl, would not be doing that to her, even if she was asking you. We both were it's, drunk, man. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. That doesn't make a difference in this situation, okay? There's serious injury to her. There's things that were done in, in there. And I think you have a little bit of a conscious, and you were worried. You were you were worried because you, you even cleaned the blood off yourself. Okay. And hey, listen, look, you're not you. You love this girl. I okay? love her, man. Of this course. is some, and so I know what happened in there is not something that you expected to happen. Okay. It just things got things went wrong. Things went bad. But it's important for you to be honest about it and tell us Mom, the truth. Man, I've been because telling you I, I know I know you're saying that you put your arm inside of her. I know you're saying that you put bottles inside of her and everything else. But there's more to it. There's more to this story. There's more to the story. And if you really love and care for this girl and you have a heart, you'll tell us what happened so that we can have some closure for her. That's, that's because listen, listen, there's more to the story than what you're telling us. And there's more that you remember. Okay, I know you're saying you don't, but you remember ex specific details here and here, but the, the part in the middle, you're blocking out because it hurts you. The fact that that happened, it hurts you that that, that occurred. It's got to be bothering you. I, I Listen, what what they, I just saw pictures, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a little bit, okay, and show you what I just saw. It's devastating. And to do the right thing for her, and the right thing for yourself, and the right thing for her family. I do the right thing. Whatever I have to be done, I'll do it. The right thing is to tell us what happened. I told you Tell everything. us the truth of what happened. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you everything, what happened. Everything that I remember, 
That's what I told you. Even when he's been confronted with the severity of Namus wounds, Lopez still insists that he didn't do anything wrong. But there's more that you remember. No, I don't remember. You're blocking it out, but there's more that you remember. It's not that I'm blocking it out. Fidel, do you, let me ask you a question. What's that? Do you, do you want to be looked at as an animal? A what? Do you want to be looked at as a monster? Of course As not. someone who's careless? Of course not. Exactly, because I don't think you're that person. I'm not that person. Okay. I, mean, I have two kids so, and I have my job. But, uh, okay, so listen, that's what we're saying. I don't think you're a monster either. I don't think you intended for any of this to happen. Of course not. Okay, but but at some point, but you at got, some point, at some point, you got upset and you became enraged. And there's there's a point in that time when you when that happened, something something snapped, something upset you. No, nothing, man. Nothing. Because we just, the damage I mean, that you caused in that house, that house was not in that condition prior to all this going on. All of a sudden, now there's holes and everything is destroyed. She's got internal injuries that need to, that. You're saying is just caused from a bottle, and that's not the truth. Those injuries that's not the truth. There's more that was up inside of her. There's more that was done, and there's no way she could have dealt with that pain without either being unconscious or telling you she to was, stop. She was, she was, she was talking to me. She was like, well, and no, maybe, like, maybe, maybe in your head you're thinking that, but nah. well, I know she might have been talking at the beginning. But there, there's some point in time when she's not <clears throat> conscious because <clears throat> what is what was taken out of her. It's impossible. For when me. she was not conscious, when I came into the, the to the bathroom, she was not breathing. She was like, <gasps> like this. That's the point that she was unconscious. But when we doing the stuff, she was talking to me. She was telling me, do it, do it, do it, yeah, keep doing. Fidel, just like that. This, this is not rough sex, man. I told you that. This is not. This is. This is a lot more than rough sex. I know, I know. Okay, so if you know, explain to us. Tell us. I understand. Tell us. I did everything she told me to do. When I do, I don't know. I what else did, did you put inside of her besides a beer bottle in your fist? What else? This and the bottle. What else? And then that thing that you said for the hair could be possible too. The flat the, iron. The, the thing for the hair. What else? Nothing else that I remember. What did in the closet? At some point, stuff that's inside of her came out. And stuff of yeah, her, her stomach, was part of her body, part of her body tissue, is out inside the closet, on the ground. This was a vicious attack, beyond the level of someone's anger getting out of hand. Most people wouldn't even be capable of exerting the type of force required, but Lopez managed to make a lengthy assault. How can that be possible, man? You tell me. It's only possible. It's only possible by what was going on in there. I find it hard to believe that she got up and walked to the bathroom after she what happened to, to her bathroom. inside the closet. She walked to the bathroom. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't bleed out in the closet. She bleed? I, I no, told like you. bleed out, like not be able to breathe and pass away in the closet from the amount of blood that she lost. No, she was in the bathroom. She, she, she was... She told me she wanted to throw up, and when I did come you, back, did you drag her to the bathroom? <clears throat> no, she was she was normal. She was like, what do you mean normal? Like, like she could walk. have been normal because her insides are on the floor. She was fed out. walking. Okay, Look. she was walking to the bathroom. When you put your hand inside of your fist, were you? I'm not trying to be funny when I do this. I'm asking, did you? Were you doing this? Yeah. Okay. When you pulled your hand out, did you have anything in your hand? I don't know, blood, I guess. Anything else? You feel anything in your hand? No, but I remember, like, you know. Squishy? Just, anything? Just, just blood. I mean, full of blood. I mean, not. Oh, come on, man. I'm asking. No one's saying you intended hey, yeah, for this no, to happen. No, of course not. Exactly. That's why we're out. We're trying, to, we're trying to figure this out. We have to explain to the doctor, and we have to explain to other people that are looking at this what happened. Okay? We have to explain how she got into this condition. Part of her insides, from inside of her body, are on the floor in the closet. We're not saying you're a killer, okay? No, I'm not. Because you're not a murderer. You're not a killer. This is no, not you, okay? No, but you have to be honest with what happened in there so that we can put the pieces together. Everything I've been telling you is everything I know. You but know, there's some things that you're leaving out. There's I'm some not things. There's no. some things that you're leaving out because you're afraid. You're afraid that it's going to make you, you, you think that it's going to make you look bad. It's going to make other people look at you bad. But you know what's going to happen? If you're not honest and tell us what actually occurred in that house, and we're trying to put all this together, 
that shows that maybe, you know what, maybe he is a bad person. Maybe he what, is a cold-hearted killer. Maybe he doesn't love her. And I don't think that's you. No, that's not me. It's man. not you. I know you, you, you have care and concern for this girl. All right? Do you love this girl? Of course, babe. Okay. Would you do anything to hurt her? Of course not. Okay. But you did. Right? And I'm not leaving anything out of this. But, but you, did, you understand you. that you hurt her. Right now, I understand. Everything you told me, you told you me knew, right now. But, but you know you did because you saw the blood. Yeah, blood is not blood. normal. Blood from sex is not normal. That amount of blood is not normal. Okay. Did it, the injuries that were caused to her, she didn't do them to herself. Of course not. And there was no one else in the apartment. It was me. It was you. I know. Okay. I know that. So explain to us how part of her insides, part of her inside of her body. Listen, why, why, did, you, why did you wash your hands? Why did you wash because your hands? Because I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Why? Yeah, but you cleaned up more than just the, the amount of blood that's in that apartment, all over the walls and on the floor. You had a lot more blood than just in your arm. You had a lot more blood than just on that right arm. No, you, you didn't taste me. I, mean, I don't even have soap in my hand. I just put water and wash the hand. Where, where else was blood on your body? I don't know, just my hand. Maybe this one. But both, both this hands? one is the one I use. No, this one is the one I use. Your right arm? Yeah, this okay. one. But did you have blood on that on that arm? Yeah, too? if I touch myself for you. What about your legs? The, the legs and the floor. Well, you had that blood in your legs because there's blood all over the floor. It's in the blood on the floor. That's yeah. what I have. That's what I have blood on my. Yeah, but you don't have really a lot of blood on your legs. Did you go into the shower and wash off? No. Because you said you put the shower on. To put water on her face because she wasn't breathing. It's when I called the police. The night one one. What about a towel? Did you use a towel? I know. I don't use no to towel. To dry so off. To mm -hmm. wipe anything down. I don't think so. I don't know. No, it's important that you... you I, I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't use nothing. Man. I don't use no, no towels or, or something like that. So after, that when you, after you called 911 the first time and the phone went down, you say you dropped the phone or you disconnected because they, couldn't get, the, the they couldn't get the address, correct? Yeah. Or what did you do phone. from that point to when the police got there? Try to wake him up. Try to give her CPR or something. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. Okay. Not breathing at all. Did she ever ask for help? No. Her? No. She was a. <sighs> Did she ever ask, tell you to stop or that she was in pain or hurting? Never. She was talking. The, 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 you know, like keep going, keep going. That's it. But she, she never told me stop. I don't know what. what I, I, I don't even know how fucking shit from her body come out of there. Really don't know. I mean, like... Well, listen. You see that, right? Yeah. All the way here. If you put your whole arm inside her, you were up inside her stomach. Correct? And what the... Why... No, I mean, I'm just saying, you're... Think realistic. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're putting no, your whole no, arm inside her. No, no, where is no, your no. hand at that point? It's not in her vagina anymore, right? I understand. It's up inside her stomach. Well, why is she didn't tell me to stop or something? We don't know. <clears throat> and the stuff and, and the part of her body from the, from her insides that's on the floor, it's not. It wouldn't just fall out of her. It would have to be pulled out of her. I didn't pull anything. I mean, like. <sighs> Lopez continues to deny everything, although there is no other explanation for how Namus' intestines were removed from her body. He is trapped, and forensics will easily be able to point to his guilt. When she had, where was it that she had trouble breathing? In the bathroom. So she was fine in the closet? Yeah, she was fine. She was, she was, she was okay. Let me get, she was wrong, just like mine, just like me. But, but I said, in the bathroom is when I, when I get nervous and she wasn't breathing. Was she coherent? Huh? Was she, like, awake during that time? I yeah, mean, she you was. You you're saying drunk, but was she, did she know what was going on? Of course. She was the one that told me, put the bottle on me. I understand. She that. was the one that told me, use your hand. I mean, of course, I, I wouldn't do it if she wouldn't tell me that. Yeah, I know. I she never, said to put your hand, but you put your arm. 
Listen. Listen, you know, when you put your arm in someone and go up inside to their and inside their intestines, that's that's damaging. That's damaging. It's not sexual. That's torture. Is it possible that she passed out while you had your arm inside of her? No, she was awake. She was she was she was like 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 having phone, like you know like like having phone. It's not like a like a scream of pain or something, like just having fun. You know, like that's how come I that's how come I say I don't oh Were you were you upset at her? No, I was, of course not. You were upset at something. You were mad. You were angry. Listen. Like I explained to you. I mean, you're feeling no pain because you're punching wall holes and walls and doors and everything else and breaking glass. There's. I don't remember where I don't know of that bad. I know I did it. Yeah. But I don't know why, and I don't remember how, how we what I break the door. I know maybe the holes with my hand, mm -hmm. but but like I like I explained to you earlier, I have that temperature. She knows. She will, will live in all the places. And she knows I do the same thing. I understand. You know? I understand. But then at that point, I think maybe the rage when you guys are having sex continued. I think it continued no, because sure. you shoved your fist up into her stomach, inside her, her guts. You know why I think she was passed out when you had your fist inside of her? I'll explain to you why. Why? Because what came out of her insides, there's no way she could have been conscious and not been in... Horrible, horrible, horrible. After everything that had been done to her, Namath was most likely unconscious by this point. The human body can only take so much pain, and she had been pushed beyond her limit. Even if by some miracle she had been conscious, there was no way that she didn't protest what was happening to her. Horrible pain. It's meant to me, it's from, of course, inside of her body, but why when I pull my arm and... You obviously pulled would, it out. No, I don't, I don't grab anything. I mean, just pull my hand. That's it. it no, you put your you put your arm up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like like he just said, look how far that is. I know. Okay. I know, but I don't, I don't grab anything and put it back. But, but if we come something out of there, I, I really don't know. I mean, oh man. Did you guys get in an argument because she thought she was pregnant? No, of course not. Oh, I wish you could be pregnant, man. If well, maybe if it was yours, maybe it was maybe she was pregnant by somebody else. I don't know. If she was pregnant? I don't know. I'm asking you. Is no, there a conversation? Man, she's not pregnant. I have no idea. She's not pregnant. She's fell uh, fell for. Uh, how do you say? She 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 don't shit on me. I mean, like she she's a, she's a good girl. She's a okay. perfect girl, man. She's my love. You know, and I don't. Shit I on don't her. doubt for one second you love her. <laughs> but we have to figure out, and we have to make some sense of what happened here because this is not rough sex okay I, I, I understand. I her understand. guts her guts I don't know what else word to use her insides were ripped out of her that doesn't happen by a beer bottle I know okay this beer bottle is not broken or cut it's not there's no sharp edges to it it didn't break inside of her we I asked you that you said no Okay. I don't think it breaks inside. It was good. The bottle was. And, and, and which end of the bottle went inside of her? I don't I really, to be honest, I don't remember. I really don't. Were you holding the top, you know, the part you drink? Were you holding that in your hand? No, I remember, man. I, I know I used the bottle. Right. I know I used it, but I don't, don't remember. And how, from the table, how big's a beer bottle? About that big? It was a middle light or close light bottle. With a long bottle. neck? Yeah. Okay, it so it's about what, that tall? Uh, something like that. Okay, so the whole bottle went inside of her? No, no, the whole. I was holding it. Well, you were holding it. Yep, yeah, but I don't but know. If it went all the way up to you. Okay. It from, from the back or from the from the top, I really don't know, man. I'm just... <sighs> right now, the most important thing for you to do is remember. Okay. Remember for you, remember for her, remember for her family. I know, I don't know. Okay. No one, thinks you're Listen, an, no one thinks you're an animal. No one thinks you intended to do this. Of course not. Okay? Seriously. Of course not. But you, you've got to be able to explain.
what happened here? Oh man, we both were drunk. I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. I was so drunk and she was so drunk. I really don't know, man. I wish I can explain better. I wish I can explain better. I, I'm telling you everything I remember, man. I, you know, I'm fucking telling you everything, everything I, I remember, like, you know, almost exactly how it is. Almost is the key. Exactly, it's almost. because I don't, I don't remember everything. But, but I think you do. I think there's a point that you're trying to block out because it's killing you right now. It's burning you up because of what happened. And you're thinking back right now, thinking, wow, I can't believe I did something like that. But it wasn't you. You weren't in the right state of mind. You, you wouldn't intentionally listen, hurt her, right? Listen, there's nothing inside of me that I am not telling you. Everything that I know is everything that you know. Okay? You know, I'm not, I'm not hitting nothing. I'm not, you know, I, you know, I prefer to pay 20 years on job just, just for, for, you know, you know, for her family to be okay and they don't think I'm a monster. I don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think you're a monster. But no one thinks you're you a monster. Know, I don't, I but, don't. But you have to, but you have to be honest and help us put I'll the pieces honest. together from point A to B. You're giving us here and then there's a gap and then you're giving us after. That time in between, from that closet to that bathroom, something happened from the closet to the bathroom that you're leaving out. Okay? You guys drank. You had an argument. Yep. Did the argument happen after, possibly? You're saying it happened before. Did it happen after? Did it happen during? Oh. The detective is trying to get Lopez to admit that he was angry with Namath. If he had been mad enough to cause that amount of damage to the apartment and Namus' body, there is no way he could have forgotten what had upset him. When, when I break the stuff, it was right. Why are you right breaking before stuff? Before we make sense. Okay. So you're breaking stuff. You're having an argument. What is the argument about? I don't know. That, that's, that's what I, I, I don't know. I really, I wish I can remember and I'm telling you. You know, I can't, but see, I can't, that would, I can't but tell you, you, you I can't tell you how anything. That would, you, I, can't. I know, but don't you understand how that would make more sense? That if you did something during sex that may have injured her, there's a reason. You know, there'd have to be a reason. You're not just going to do it so for, no, reason is it for, no, for, drunk, for no reason. No, you're not going to hurt her for no reason. You're going to hurt her just because she's drunk? No, 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 Just because you're drunk? No, 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 no. You said you've had sex with her when you're drunk before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you have been but, drunk before. But no, no, like yesterday. Yesterday we, we we were like really, really, really drunk. I understand that, okay? And But you also said to us earlier that the the kinkiest or the craziest thing you've done sexually was a 69. 69. Okay, so that's why we're saying something ha else happened here. This it isn't this isn't rough sex. I have said okay, that before. I understand that. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. That's you do? Okay, sex. so then explain yeah. to us what it was. You know, what, what was it was it? to me, it was says when I was drunk. And for her, the same thing. Because she didn't scream with pain. She wasn't telling me to stop. You know, how can I explain? I mean, I don't leave nothing behind. I can tell you whatever. I can tell you, yeah, we have an argument about her edge. And that's it. But I'm not going to tell you that because that, I really don't know, man. Is the, 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 uh, you said that she never said stop. Was, uh -huh. she, was she unconscious? Did she, she was, pass out? She was talking. She, <laughs> she was talking. Initially, yeah. But yeah. you could be, you know, when you get drunk and you, you have no idea what's going on and you. you when contact. she was unconscious, is when I find, when I went to the bathroom, she cannot breathe. In the it's closet. When, Did she pass out in the closet? No. She was, she was, she was like normal, like, like normal. She, was, okay. she wasn't normal in the closet. She had her stomach ripped out of her in the closet. I know. You, you guys are that's not that normal. Right now, but. There's the amount of blood that's in the closet and what happened in the closet. There's there's no way that she was either saying no and stop because it hurt like hell, or she was unconscious. That's the only explanation we can have she here. She wasn't unconscious. She wasn't, and she wasn't telling me to stop. But that that's the thing. It's one of those two things. No, because there's, she's gonna let you rip her stomach out and not say anything. That doesn't make any sense. That that makes absolutely no sense, Fidel. Does it to you? It does. It does okay, make so, sense. So I'm not. Uh, we're, so we're on the same page here. I understand. You're, we're on the same page. Okay. Because. Uh, Fidel, I know it's not easy. I know you're confused. I know a lot of things are going through your mind right now. 
course. Mm -hmm. No. But you have to do the right thing and tell I'm the truth. I'm doing the right thing, man. I'm you need to do the right thing and be honest. Remember. I know everything you're, you're everything. saying that, everything that you remember, and I understand that. But I think there's more that you remember that you're not telling us. There's more that you're leaving out that you're not telling us. I'll never hurt her. I will never hurt her. Okay. Never do something to hurt her. You know, you, you know uh, in killing her... I'm not saying you killed her. She, I mean, this she, obvious okay, but listen, listen, I mean, like, listen. That's a reason because she is there because whatever well, we did. But did you intend to do that? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. I wasn't okay. conscious, man. Okay. We, it's like we, a car accident. You get in a car accident, someone dies. No, this is not a car accident. Well, I'm just know. saying it's an accident. This this was obvious. Was this, I mean, something? You either intended to kill her, or this was an accident. Of course not. Okay. So, if you guys were having sex and you accidentally did something to her that you didn't intend and she ended up dying from it, well, then that's an accident, right? Yeah, I know, but... It is, but man, it's really at some point, man, at some point man, during man. this night, you saw the blood. You saw this. You saw that you I made a mistake. I saw the blood. I saw the blood. But, you, but, you, but at that point, you knew you made a mistake. No, right? I, I made a mistake at this point, and I, I knew I made a mistake. But, you, at that but you, point, you knew you made a mistake at that point when you're washing the bloods off the blood I know, it's a blood. I just, I just washed the blood because I was going to smoke a cigarette. I know I had blood. I know I had it. I know I had the blood. Were you going to smoke a cigarette because you knew that it was over? No, man. I went to smoke the cigarette because she told me she was going to throw up to get out of the bathroom. No. That's what she told me. That's what I get out of the bathroom. And when I go back, I see her without breathing. It's when I call 911. I'm not leaving anything behind, man. I'm telling you everything, everything, everything I remember, everything how it was. If it's something else, I'm sorry. I cannot tell you. I, I, you know. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Take a take a few minute break. Yeah. Maybe it'll help you remember more if you start to write stuff down. Maybe. It'll be possible. You want to try it? Right down with that. But I'm going to write this the same thing I'm telling you. Guys. Okay, take your time. Write. Maybe something will come to your mind. Okay? Listen, no one, we're not saying you intended to do this. Of course not. Okay, so you just understand that. Understand that. Listen, understand listen. that. Just write, and maybe it'll help you jog your memory. Okay? And we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, you want some more water? No, I'll, I'll write it down. Outside, if, you, if it's possible, to wear, wear a smoke a cigarette. Sure, absolutely. Come on. You have your cigarettes uh, with uh, Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll, you know, go to jail because something that I really do. How many cigarettes did you smoke? Um, uh, one over there, right now? Yeah. One, okay. All right. Um, so let's let's discuss what's going on. Okay. Talk to me. I'm not going to think any different of you. No one is. We're only, it's only going to be for your benefit. It's only going to help you. Things get out of hand. We both were drunk. We both but for real, to be honest, I don't I really don't remember why I punched the the, 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 the holes. So, you know, now I know that I did it because you just tell me there was holes. I don't I don't even know the open holes and that. Okay, I'm not concerned about the okay. holes. Every time the detective presses him for specifics, Lopez claims he doesn't remember. So far, they haven't found the right way to get him to crack even though he knows he won't be able to keep this up forever. Whatever it did, like I said, she was, she was talking. She, she, she was talking in the, in the, in the closet, in the, in, the, in the bathroom too. I remember those parts because I do remember those parts. But 
but uh, you know the, we weren't drinking more when we had says uh, whatever we weren't drinking we just drinking until we had the whatever problem we had but then I don't know what was it no um, that's that's you know what the problem is that's that's what you're holding back and that's what you listen, need to come clean with that's what you need to be you honest with like the touch no, machine right listen, on me man from whatever you're saying you know what from whatever saying? the problem you have that's where it went bad that problem you know is what you had. You know what happened. You know what was upsetting you. I had nothing against her. Whatever I think I did you do. With her. I think you do. Maybe I, you know, things get out of hands. Okay. And that, but, but when things because, get out of hands, things get out of hands. Things you know I mean? get out of hand because something bothered you. There's something oh you keep my. saying that we got to the point I got upset or something bothered you and then it, things got out of hand. What was it? What was it? Man? That's all I'm trying to figure it out, man. I you you really, don't have to figure it out. You know what it was. What was it? What caused you to go? Listen, if I really, if I really it, know that, I'll tell you no, right but now. I think you do. You do. Like, I'm not. You're. you're listen. I you mean, know yourself. You know, know who you myself. are. Okay. Know you know what I'm. upsets you. No. Okay. When I was drunk, you, yeah, but you know, no, when you're mind. drunk, you still know what upsets you and what causes you to go get upset. All right. You've had arguments with her in the past, right? You've had arguments with her in the past. You know what things have sparked and and caused you to get upset. This is no different, man. And you need to just tell us why. That's all you need to do. It'll be a big weight lifted off your shoulders, I'm telling you. It really will. You know what I think part of the reason is you don't want to tell us? Because we're three men sitting here. I think part of you is embarrassed. And I think I have an idea what may have happened, and I think you do too, I know you do, and you just don't want to tell us, okay? What do you think? What do I think? I think you wanted to have a nice night with your with your girl, and you guys went out drinking, and you came home, and you stopped and bought some more, some more liquor, some tequila, you came home, and you're drinking, and things started moving, and you drank so much, you couldn't get your dick hard. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get an erection. You're asking me what I think. I'm telling you what I think, okay? And then because you couldn't get your dick hard, okay, an argument, a fight ensued. Because now you don't feel like a man. Now you don't feel like you're worthy. Now you don't feel like you can, you can, no pun intended, rise to the occasion and do what you got to do is please your girl, okay? And so an argument ensued, okay, and you got angry. I'm okay. not doing nothing against her, man. Okay, you said earlier. You said earlier you told us that you didn't come. Uh, you didn't ejaculate. I did, I did, That's I, did, I think because you couldn't get your dick hard. That's no, I, okay. My dick hurt. Okay, and I think I you were embarrassed, and I think it pissed you off because she said something. Maybe she didn't mean to. Maybe she didn't mean to offend you, but whatever she said offended you. You're a man, okay? No you're Hispanic. You're Cuban. You have pride, okay? Don't don't sit here and question my manhood. Is what you're saying here. Am I, am I right? That's what you think. I'm asking, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, but, so what happened then? So what happened with the happened, argument? Man. That's not what happened. No? To be honest, man, I really don't know what happened. Listen, I was so... Fidel, so come on. Go. Listen, you remember here, you remember here, and you remember here. Okay, I remember but you conveniently don't remember the most important part. You conveniently don't, conveniently don't remember what happened in the closet, what happened in the bathroom, okay? But what happened in between the two? The she had her guts ripped out in the closet. And you're going to sit here and tell us, come on, you don't remember what the argument was about? It's getting harder and harder for Lopez. The weight of his situation is bearing down on him. He didn't have time to prepare for this mentally, and the detectives have all the time in the world to keep pushing him until he confesses. Fidel, we both said it. I don't think you're a monster. I don't think you intended to do what you did. Okay? But ultimately, you did it. I did it. I know that. And I know you know that. To be a man about it, explain why. What set you off? What got you so angry? You were 
enraged. Why? Just explain why, and you won't know. You're a human, okay? You're a human being. You're flesh and blood, just like he and I. And you snapped, and things got things went bad. Okay? Just explain that. That's all we're asking you to do is explain why. What happened? What started it? We were like, we were like drinking. We were drinking, we get drunk. I don't even know, not even when I opened the holes, when I, when I break the window. I don't, I don't, don't even remember when I did that. I don't, I don't know what was the argument. I know something happened, but I really don't know, man. I mean, like... Fidel, you ripped her insides out of her through her vagina. I didn't mean to do that, man. I understand that, but you did it. What pissed you off to the point where you did that? Was she fucking somebody else? No, did she tell you she wanted to leave you? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. Did she tell you she was having sex with her ex-husband again? No. Namath had not been seeing anyone else. Although her divorce was still fresh in her mind, she was faithful to Lopez. about believe me or something I'm, maybe she mentioned something about go to Peru you know, but that me. was she she no yesterday she mentioned it like day one day ago like two days ago okay and going to Peru and live with her mother because she was you know tired of whatever this country I don't know why she was like that you guys weren't getting along huh you guys weren't getting along oh yes we do you want me to go with her, but you know, it's, I, I cannot leave my kids here and my job and go to somewhere else not yeah. to make any money. Yeah. I mean, that, that might be one of the reasons, but to be honest with you guys, I really don't remember. Did you talk about that last night? I don't know, man. I, we were so, I, mean, I was drunk, uh, she was drunk. In your house before you, all this started going on, did you start talking about that? When you sat down in your little makeshift boxes, cutting up lines, having... No, them? the only thing we talk about was the, one of her hands don't like her her ex-husband. Uh, that's, that's the only thing we, we talk, um, like, you know? How did that conversation come about? You're having a nice night with your girl drink, having drinks, yeah, we, and we, you start we, talking we, about your, her cousins and her ex-husband? No, because, we, you know, we were just talking about her family or my family and things like that and you know you know we're just talking about the family and whatever is good whatever is not good whatever is piece of cherry whatever is not you know things like that if i if i really remember what's going on why why what was the agri i'll tell you when, man i'll when, really tell you anyway listen, what when you discovered that she wasn't breathing and you were going to call 911. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind at that time? Well, I was going through my mind. Well, she was dying. Okay. And what do you think was going to happen? Or what? If she died, what did you think was going to happen? If she died? Mm hmm. What would. What I'm going to think? I'm there. I'm. I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm, you know, I, I cooperate with anything that has to be done. You know, I'm not run away. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I know. I know you did it. You didn't run. You're here. You're talking to us. You're, you, you. And I know is whatever happened. And, and this is our thing. This is why we're doing what we're doing to try to get some explanation or reasoning. Because when somebody outside, when everybody that's going to look at this situation and look at what you did, if there's no reason for what you did. That's worse than if there is at least you had some reason for what you did. I mean, if they said, you know what, he doesn't know why he did it. He just took her life and put her out of her misery. There's, there's no, 
But if you at least have some kind of reason, some kind of justification, some kind of explanation, you know, explanation of why you did what you did, let me tell you, man, not only for you, but for everybody else looking at this, at least have some kind of closure, some kind of like, you know... Hang on, are we checking? And, I and, and, something and, right now to and tell to be you, honest man. with you, all the things that he's been giving you, saying like, you know, relationship problems or sex problems or wants to leave you, go to Peru. Okay, I would understand. Maybe that gave you justification. You got started drinking. You weren't thinking straight. You got enraged. You got pissed off, and you took it out on her. I mean, but by you saying that's an explanation. By, One of those by, is an explanation. By saying I got, we were drinking. Then I got enraged and took it out on her, but I don't know why. That I mean, that shows that you're cold-hearted, man. You look like an animal. You look like an animal. In that sense, and I know that's not the case. See, you got to remember something too. When we do an investigation like this, we. It, we're talking to neighbors. We're knocking on. You live in an apartment complex, mm -hmm. okay? Your neighbors are right there. The walls are thin, okay? So they hear what sounds like construction going on in the apartment next door because you're breaking shit for hours. And they hear a male voice screaming for hours. But they don't hear any female voice. Because I was, I was fine. I was for fine. hours before nine one one was called. Before nine one one was called. Yes, around one o'clock in the morning. Lopez grows nervous when he is told that someone heard screams in the apartment quite some time before he finally called nine one one. He knows this means it will be obvious that he at least considered trying to cover up Namus' death. Nine one one was called sometime around three thirty, somewhere roughly. Saying what? I don't know what you were saying. I have no idea. The, I remember when I screamed it was when I kn I know that she wasn't breathing. It's when I started screaming. Okay, but okay. that's where that's where, it's, where where I screamed. But you didn't call nine one one right away. Uh, of course I did call nine one one. I called nine one one when she wasn't breathing. I called nine one one right away. Desperate. You know, the, two hours well, prior to call nine one one, you were yelling and screaming and and breaking things in the house. A breaking thing is, is, is and, that's, that's right. true. Uh, and you're yelling thing. and screaming, but yet there's no female voice yelling and screaming. Do you understand what we're trying to say? Maria wasn't yelling and screaming because Maria couldn't scream. Because either A, she was passed out, or she was dead already. No, she wasn't dead, man. She was like this when I called that one. So for two hours, roughly two and a half hours, what were you doing besides breaking up your apartment? I think you were breaking up the apartment because you realized two, that for two and a half hours she was dead. And you panicked. Panicked when you realized it. Started breaking shit, not knowing what to do. You took it too far. Took it too far. Okay? This is what I think. And then eventually you called 911. We want you to just explain to us why, okay? Why? That's what we're trying to explain to you, that without the why, without the why this happened, without the explanation as to what happened, it looks like you're some cold-blooded, sadistic killer. Like, you just... I'm not. I know that. I know that. So does he. And I mean that when I say that. I know you're not a, a sadistic killer, okay? But something set you off. Something made you so angry that this happened. Okay? Ripping out your girlfriend's insides physically and then being on the floor in the closet is not rough sex. We've gotten past that part. Okay? What caused you to become so violent? Alcohol. And, and what? And what? Not just the alcohol. What else? Something else, man. I, really, what, I wasn't under my mind. The alcohol was over me. I, yeah, but you already told us several times you can handle your alcohol and have sex when you have alcohol. Yeah. But I told you that last night, we both get really, really, really drunk. And I believe that. I believe that. But at yes. some point in time, you were up, you were in a rage, you were destroying the apartment for at least an hour and a half to two hours prior to calling the ni call 911. It's not you're like you're laying on a couch, pass out, drunk. You're up. Things are going on. 
So the holy that you were so drunk that you don't know what was going on is, I don't believe. It's because, you know what, you know what if you're so drunk and not knowing what's going on, you're laying on the ground sleeping. There's no, there's no explanation for me to, to, to kill my girlfriend. Is there, I didn't okay. mean to kill her. Understand. We understand, understand that. that. I we're, we, we're not saying that you did. Know. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he just said? What? Listen. We understand that you didn't mean to kill your girl. But whatever came over you, the rage that came over you, caused you to do actions that caused her death. Unfortunately, it's an accident. It caused whatever happened to her was you had no control over. I mean, it just, you were in a rage, you were drinking, things went on, and she ended up losing her life for that. We're not saying that you intended to kill her. We're not saying that you went in there last night, went to Chili's, got some tequila, and said, you know what, tonight I'm going to kill her. No but one. one thing led to the other, and it got worse. You know, you ended up doing what you did. And you're not going to get me to believe that you guys have a very normal, very tame sex life, where the, the kinkiest or craziest thing you've done is a 69. Mm, right. And then all of a sudden, you're she wants you to shove a beer bottle inside of her pussy, that's what you were telling me, man. And she wants it, and she wants you to shove your fist in there, your hand in there. That's what you were telling me. Fidel, come on, I don't believe that. Okay, I just don't believe that. Because you know what? I'm older than you. He's older than you. Mm -hmm. We're both men. Okay. As are you. These things are gradual. Okay. The detectives confront Lopez about the unrealistic way he says the intimate relations between him and Namath escalated, even drunk. Such a shift would not have been that drastic or abrupt. You take steps, oh, we do a little bit of this, you maybe try this, try some of this. I don't like that, so we won't do that anymore. Let's try this, let's try this. There's no way, <clears throat> before last night, had you ever put anything else inside of her besides your... No. no. Your penis and what else? Maybe a couple fingers? Not even fingers. So you expect us to believe that from... Just your penis to a beer bottle and then your fist? No way. Fidel, listen, now you're making yourself out to sound because it just doesn't make sense. And anyone that hears that is going to go, no way. You don't go from a penis to a beer bottle to your whole fist and up to your elbow. That just doesn't happen. Without some type of reason. Exactly. And that happened because you got so angry, okay? And that's what we want you to explain to us. Paint the picture for us of what happened so you look like a human being that just snapped, okay? Instead of some sadistic monster who said, you know what, fuck this bitch, I'm just gonna rip her guts out. I don't think you're that person. Either does he. But you have to explain to us so we can explain to other people. Listen, he, had no, he didn't mean to do this. He really didn't. They got into an argument. They got into a fight. And, and, and you know, with the alcohol, one thing happened, you know. But you have to explain that to us. Okay. Um, the, the crime scene, the, the, they, they shake the, she had something with the, the tequila caused something to her too. The tequila? Well, yeah. cause it to be intoxicated. Absolutely. Intoxicated and something to, because she wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. I understand that. She wasn't breathing because she was bleeding. She bled out. Because of what was ripped out from her insides. Lopez becomes more desperate, going so far as to try to blame the alcohol itself for Namath's death. That's why she wasn't breathing. I don't know, man. She go out of my hands. Out of my hands. Fidel, Fidel, listen. Listen. Look at me. The only thing I'm thinking is her is dead. My kids are never going to see them again. That's, uh, that's everything I think of right now, man. But my job, but I you was fighting for this job forever. Listen to me. Everything is going to happen right now. Listen, man. if you explain to us, give us the reason, okay, of why this happened. You're human, okay? 
as am I, as is he. Make yourself out to be the human being that you are. By doing that, you have to give an explanation as to why this happened. Do you understand what we, that when I say that? You have to, to explain why these things happen, to explain why Marie is dead. Listen, I'd like to be able to, to stand up on your behalf and say, listen, he was extremely remorseful. He had no intentions for this to happen. Okay? He didn't mean to do this. But unfortunately, this is why it happened. He had too much to drink, and he had an, he had an argument he, he, and between that and the drinking and everything else, X, Y, and Z, whatever it may have been. But you have to explain that so we can explain it to other people, to make you... He's human. It happens. Okay? You didn't intend to kill her. Of course not. Right. So explain to us what took place that led up to it. You know. You don't want to remember. But I know you do remember. And it takes a man, a true man, to admit, okay, fucked up, man. I made a mistake. I had no intention to kill her. I had no intention to doing it, but this is what happened. It takes a man to do that. It takes more of a man to admit when he's wrong than it takes a man to cry. Be that man. Be that person. Because that's who you are. She was telling me she she going to Peru. She was she needed to go to Peru because she, she was missing her mother. And you know, and I'm not gonna be able to use the car to go to work, and you know, then just start screaming at me and all that. I get pissed, I start punching the shit. I really don't remember when I punched the shit. You just tell me, I know I get pissed because of that. Then, then after that. I don't know how, how we end them up in the cross or whatever. I know we made peace. But when we were doing the making love, she told me something that, that really don't it just she, she changed my name. She called me the the other fucking name of the other guy. And then she said it twice. And she was wrong and she was confusing me with him. I I didn't want to kill her. I know I killed her. That's whatever I did with her was the reason. But she was asking me about the bottle. And she was asking me about the hand too. And maybe things go a little bit far because, you know, once she, she's confusing me with the other one and she told me to do stuff with her that I've never done before, I think that she might think that's, that's, that's all the stuff that she does with the other one before things go out of hands and not you know not mean to kill her I don't think you did not mean to kill her man. walk us through what happened that's what that's what happened that we were in the closet as far as I remember is you know I don't remember taking nothing in my hand out of from her. Maybe I injured her, of course, I did. Did at any point she tell you it hurts, stop? Never. That's, that's one of the stuff that never. But, okay. The, if she were telling me that I was screaming or something, somebody would hear it. So she was, me. was she passed out? No, she wasn't passed out. She was calling me the other dude's name. Where was that at? Was that in the closet. In the closet. This is where we start, over there. Okay. Explain to us, t tell us what happened. Then, we were fucking and she was standing with the other dude name. What name was she calling you? Uh, Norbert. Norbert? Is that her ex-husband? Yeah. Okay. So, you know. So what did you do at that point? At that point I got mad. Get really, really mad. 
And I can't believe it. It's same, she, when she told me about the go to Peru or whatever, it's when I start breaking the stuff, uh, the wall and the, the, the glass and everything. And then the other point is when she, she was confusing me with him, you know, calling me him, his name, and asking me to do stuff with her that I've never done before with her. You know, it, it makes me feel bad, very bad. I mean, like, like you feel like he was, like you were not adequate enough, like you couldn't satisfy her. Uh, I'm asking you. No, that I'm always satisfied. With her. <clears throat> she was, she was okay with me, but I don't know just the, what happened with her. She, she gets so drunk, and I don't know why she was confusing me and telling me Robert and besides Fidel. Uh, but I never meant to kill her, man. I really don't. I, I believe you. You know. I believe you. I forgive her everything, whatever she told me, whatever she, you know. What did you What did you put inside of her besides the bottle and your fist? I don't remember to put nothing. That thing with the hair. You put You put that in there. Yeah. You did. Yeah, I did. Okay. What else? I don't remember to put nothing else, man. Like, like, like I'm telling you. Like, the thing that you put uh, for for the hair. Do you remember what it looks like? Uh, I think it's. Well, it's the only one she have, I think, is a red one or with, with, the, with the black things all around. Mm -hmm. Red or pink, I really don't, don't remember. When you, put it, when you put it inside her, was it plugged into the wall? No, of course not. I, I'm asking, I don't know. Of course not, but like I said, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't do nothing. I mean, well, show me, show us what you were doing when you were putting it, when you put it inside her. It's just doing like this. <coughs> Slowly but surely, they are starting to get more of the truth out of Lopez. He still has moments where he tries to minimize his actions, but now that he has admitted to the source of his rage, he can see it is pointless to fight. I'm sorry? With the bottom, with that, and yeah, we are, everything just like this. Man, I, I so to, she was at her life, man. But listen, in the closet, you're doing that. You're putting the thing inside of her. She goes unconscious. No, because she's, 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 she's bleeding a lot of blood. I, I know she was bleeding. I know she was bleeding. But she, she, she was. She, uh, to be honest, she didn't walk to the bathroom. But she was like, okay. you know. But I know she didn't walk to the bathroom, like you uh, said. She didn't walk to the bathroom, but she was like, you know, like a, like she was a crawling. A, exactly. But she wasn't crying or nothing. It was just, just, she was like, she couldn't stand up. I mean, Namath may not have been crying. Sometimes this happens when a person goes into shock. And given her injuries, this is very likely. Well, she couldn't stand up because, because of the injuries. Plus, probably a little bit of alcohol, a combination a of alcohol. A little bit, not a lot of alcohol. A lot. So, the part about her saying, I gotta throw up, that's not true? No, that is true. That is true. She went into the bathroom like that, mm -hmm. and she told me about the phone going off to get out of the bathroom. She was talking, she was conscious. Okay. And then I went to smoke a cigarette, and I go back, I see her like, like this, when I call 911. I really, the screams and all that, I, I mm -hmm. know I have to, it have to be me. But, but I called 911 when I saw her that she was like, like this. But that, like, oh, no, no. the whole incident inside the closet when she's calling you by a different name and they get you very upset and you're breaking things, that that occurs for over a period of quite a while. Oh, what? That's over a, quite a while, a, a long period of time, correct? Uh, yeah. yeah like how long, like an hour? An hour and a half? Really, really don't, don't remember, man. Like, I mean, it wasn't like a two minute thing, it was from from when, when I start breaking stuff, uh, when when I finish breaking stuff or whatever, from that time <coughs> to what I call number one. one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> were you, were you upset to... because of not only her calling you a name and or doing what you did, you started breaking stuff because you're just frustrated, upset. Angry. Yeah, but I didn't, I never, I never hit her. I never. I know, you're breaking, you're hitting the walls and stuff like that. She's in the closet at that time? I, I don't, she, maybe she was. Okay, she's in the closet. So, she's in the closet. 
and you left her there to go, and you were breaking stuff? I'm asking. I don't know how. Okay, I don't, I really don't remember when I break the stuff. I mean, did you go back in the closet after breaking the stuff and, 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 okay. and put things inside of her? Yeah, 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 but, but the things inside of her, she was, she was telling me, all right, she was, she was telling me to do that shit, and I knew it. She, first, she called me the names, and when I came in and started breaking the stuff, then when I go back, she told me to do the stuff. And then I get mad again, you know, because... You took it a little uh, maybe too much, too, yeah, too man. extreme. Yeah, man. I was from very, very drunk. I know you're frustrated. Bro. You're drunk, you're frustrated, you're yeah, upset. I didn't well, mean you're to angry. kill her, man. I, I really you don't mean it. to kill her, we man. Understand we understand that. We understand that. Man. We but understand that. But she pissed you off because she called you another man's name. I can tell you right now. If I'm having sex with my wife and she calls out another man's name, I'm gonna get pissed off. Okay? It's human nature, dude. Don't 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 it this, this is not human, man. I just took her life. I don't mean to, but I did it. Because you got enraged. No, because I was wrong. If I was sober, maybe I understand. Maybe I just left the apartment. But I was wrong. You're, you're not a bad person, though. You're a better person for talking about it. Absolutely. I'm not even going to be able to see her, man. Like, I guess I'm going to jail right Are you right? sorry for what you did? Huh? Are you sorry for what you did? I'm sorry? Of course, man. What do you think? What do you think? If I could go back, if time, man, I prefer to die, man. Prefer to die first. Why were you not telling us the truth at the beginning? I'm screwed, man. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see her again. I can never gonna see my kids and in the bathroom. The whole situation in the bathroom. Is that exactly how it happened? Yeah. I put water on her face. You know, I wash my hands in the in the sink. Did you wash anything? Did you have any other clothing on? What were you wearing? I was wearing this shirt with a black shirt. With a black shirt? Where's your black shirt? I don't know. Over there somewhere. You took it off? I think so, yeah. You took it off before you washed your arms? Wash your hands? I don't know. Okay. You were wearing it during the incident, though? During the time that you were having sex with her, were you wearing a shirt? Did you take it off before you called 911 no, or after I you think, called 911? I think, no, I think I, I took the shirt off when, when we go to the house and we were drinking. I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, I really don't want to I'm just more concerned of what, you, what you're wearing, what you did with the stuff after the bathroom. No, just... She's wearing this, I guess. What was she wearing? Maria? Yeah. Maria was just, like, just, she had some clothes. Then we were gonna make love to, to get out. I mean, I don't know. But I don't remember really exactly right now what she, what she was wearing. Lopez can't describe what Namath was wearing or what he did with the clothes. During this time, he was in a panic and may have no idea where he tossed them. Besides the flat iron in the bottle, there's other things in the house. What else was put inside of it? I tell you now, I lie because I really, I remember pretty, pretty, pretty much the bottle, the thing for the head in, in my hand. But I, if I use something else, I really don't, don't know. I really don't know. I mean, like, this, 
I've been trying to recover in my mind, everything, everything, everything. I'm, I'm trying to be honest. Well, you, you're, you're being honest. You're you know? starting to be honest, but there's still some things that we need to cl clear up. I mean, I know you were scared. You're afraid of what people are going to think, you're afraid of what's going to happen to you I mean to before, so you, you weren't telling the truth at the beginning. Right? I was telling half and it's truth. important that you're completely honest now and, and, and honest finish now. with the truth. Okay? I'm honest now. Because you don't want to you don't want to start one way and then look at, you know, mm -hmm. like a bad person. You're not a bad person. Right? You made a mistake. This is something that you, you know what? You're gonna have to live with the rest of your life, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know, the, you know, the, the way to deal with that is to get it off your chest and to be honest with everything. Okay? I'm being honest, man. I'm not gonna forget her. I mean, she she was, uh, you know, a special person in your life. You guys just had a it just things didn't work out, you know. It's something that bothers me right now, man. I really want to ask you because I know I'm going to jail. But, like, how many times do you think it's going to be this? What do you want to ask her? No, to who? What did you say? You want to ask her something? No, to you. Oh. Like, I know I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. I have two kids and, you know, and everything. How many years do you think this is going to cost me? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I, I have no idea. Rather than being repentant, Lopez focuses on his potential sentence. What I can tell you is that if you're honest and you're, you you are truthful about everything that happened that night, that it will that it is going to help you, okay? Because you're going to make make yourself out to be a better person than what is portrayed in that scene, okay? Like I said, anybody that walks into that scene and sees all this blood and what what ha what was going on here, if they have no reason or explanation for why why it was done, I mean, look, if you you know she did things and messed with your mind that caused you to snap. You know? I didn't, I didn't want to kill her, man. I didn't yeah. try to kill her. I just, I'm it just, just played a role. It just happened. When she, did she crawl out of the closet or did you bring her, help her get out of the closet? No, 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 she just went like this, the bathroom. The bathroom, the fire. Before fire you said that you, you put your um, hand inside her in the bathroom. In the bathroom. You did it again inside there? Uh-huh. Okay. Anything else inside of her in the bathroom? No, man. Just, just I don't know if, I, if I bring the bottle and the thing with me, if I use it in the glass, I know I use it, but, mm -hmm. you know? I don't remember if it was nothing else, I don't, I don't, you know? What do you think about all, what did you think about all the blood? What was going through your mind? So scared, man. Scared. Very scared. You want water in? No, nah, yeah, please. What, by the water? Yeah, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, you got a sandwich there if you're hungry. No, man. No. You want to smoke a cigarette? Yeah. Okay, come on. Here's food, if you're hungry, all right, um, lay your head down if you want to rest, take a nap, relax if you need anything, we'll be right out here, if you need, if you need to, we're going to, we're going to give you an opportunity to call your mom, all right, but just for now, just chill out, relax, if you need to go to the bathroom, eat, anything like that, food, water, all right, how many cigarettes did you smoke? Uh, Small one. one. Okay. If you need to smoke another cigarette, let us know. Okay, and we'll take you out um, to the smoke. You just uh, uh, put up the AC is yeah. cold in here. You know what? I'll get you. I'll get you something. All right. Um. Get some sleep. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Good. Did you eat? Did you eat? No. <clears throat> Still not hungry. All right. So we have some things we need to. Uh, Clear up, okay? Um, we just had crime scene go over to the uh, finish up the scene, and I got some things I want to show you that maybe you can help clarify, okay? okay. Some pictures from the scene. 
Where where is this area? There's a there's no room. Okay, what room? There's um, the room. The, this is the closet. Mm -hmm. There's a bedroom that's a dresser? Uh-huh. Okay. And where's the bed in relation to the closet? If the closet's, if this is the closet in here, where's the bed in this room? Where would the bed be? The bed is right here. Okay. All right. These items on the ground. This is the uh, flat yeah. iron. Yeah. Was that used? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What other items on the ground were used, were put inside of her vagina? The bottom. That blue, uh, blue moon yeah, bottle? Blue moon bottles. Okay. Yeah, and then... I think there's some other foot. Other... I'm going to show you some more on these. Yeah, sure. Alright, so... This is a better angle. Lopez is being shown the crime scene pictures and is handling them well, even though the images are graphic. It is hard to tell if he is unmoved or if they don't have the power to disturb him after seeing it in person. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, it's this way, I'm sorry. This is, so it's the closet. This is outside the closet. See this, this computer? Uh -huh. That's this. Yeah. Okay, you got, you understand that? Yeah. Whose computer is that? I mean, we both, uh, we both use them. You do? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about some of these items? There's a lot on the ground. I don't know what's this. No, no, you just these bottle. What about this? This is a looks to be like a tripod for a camera. Yeah, camera. Did you uh, did you use that? I don't think so. Man. I don't. I don't remember to use that. I know the bottom of these. Okay. That's inside the closet. That's inside. Yeah, inside the closet. Do you see the amount of blood that's there? Yeah, man. And. Yeah, you know what that is? Yeah, a piece of thing from inside. Piece of what? From inside of her? Yeah. Bits of intestines can be identified from the photos. Going by his reaction, it is hard to believe that Lopez feels any true sorrow for Namath's death. Same closet, different view. All the blood, tissue, pieces of her, pieces of her insides, blood on the wall. There's a handprints. Blood on the handprints, handprints. And then see that right there? What's underneath that? What's covering, what's that covering right there? I don't know what it is. Okay, now what is that? What's underneath it? Because that was put there. You put that there. I don't know. What, what is in it? What's in it? Call it fucking... That's her insides. The detectives finally make him look at a close-up photo, at which point Lopez reacts the way most people would have after seeing the first photo. Those are her intestines. So I know you can sit here and you can say you don't remember and this and that. Let me tell you, you're not going to forget that. 
and the fact that you put something over that, you're not being completely honest with us. That came out of her, was in the closet, you saw it, you covered it, and then you you you, you flipped out. The you think that I would just cover it and don't you think of no, no, listen, listen, throw it away or listen. Or cover everything else? Look at this scene right here, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all removed and lifted, and that's what's underneath, and that's where she was. That's not falling out of her. Did you use this hook? There's a coat hanger hook right there. See that right here? That's the hook of a coat hanger. No, no, I didn't use that. So you did all that, all that was taken out with your hands? Yeah. I didn't use that. I know it's a hook so over here. Okay. What, well, this, so this, what? Was in, this was put in, but everything that you see on the ground, all this, this tissue that came out by you pulling with your hands. Yeah. You remember pulling it out? And I was so fucking wrong and so mad, man. I really don't. Hold on, hold on. I just asked you. He just asked you a question. And you said yes. And you said yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I take him out. So your hands in there, and you're pulling this stuff out of her. And you, what did you do with it when you pulled it out? I don't know. It just stuff come out, and I lay it on the floor, man. So you remember pulling it out? Yeah, 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 I know, it's something. She didn't get up and walk to the bathroom after that. Did you drag her to the bathroom? I don't know if I dragged her, man, I really don't know if it... Listen, she didn't get up and go to the bathroom. You... This wasn't a voluntary thing. She didn't get up and walk after that happened. She had her insides ripped out of her. Literally ripped out of her. What happened in here, man? I don't know, man. Fucking. I don't mean to know this shit, man. I'm fucking so drunk, man. I mean, like, things go out of him, man. I really don't mean to do that, man. I really don't. I mean, I, I never kill nothing in my life, man. Especially hell, man. But you were enraged. This is, that's rage. That's not drunk. That's rage. That's anger. A what? <clears throat> what he's saying is, for you to do something like this, you're, that, that takes a lot of anger to do something like that, to reach up inside someone's body and pull this out. And the fact that you're saying that she wanted this is disturbing. No, she didn't want these. No, and she didn't want that. Of course not. Thing I could tell you, man. I don't know what I was doing. I was gonna start. I had just no way for me to stop. When you started, you couldn't stop. It is a weak excuse. Lopez's defense team isn't going to be able to make this look like anything other than a brutal attack. At the moment, I wasn't thinking anything. My mind was just blank. How long did this go on in the closet for? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't. How, how did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Don't lie. No, I'm not lying. I'm just. I'm just. I'll help her. I'll help her go to the bathroom. And she, she's gonna move. That's, that's for sure. She, she's gonna move. She's gonna help her. She couldn't move, you took her to the bathroom. Um, you carry her? I don't, I don't remember if I... Did you uh, drag her? Fed, fed, I don't remember. Was she conscious at this point? Yeah, she was with the eyes open. I mean, like, oh. she was like... Just because her know? eyes are open doesn't mean anything. Do you see this in here? Uh -huh, that's all the blood I, that's in her body, is in that closet. I know. You don't, you don't live through that. I don't know, man.
was she saying? Did she say anything? When would that happen? She didn't say anything. I mean, like, she, she didn't scream, nothing. Nothing. Why do you think that is? What? Why do you think she didn't scream or say anything? That way she just passed out. She was unconscious? Passed out from alcohol? Or passed out oh, from unconscious loss of blood? Well, losing so much blood. Oh, alcohol. Do you see the amount of blood that's in here? Mm hmm I know, I know. I know, I know. It's she passed out because she lost so much blood. I know, I know, I know. Okay, and she didn't scream, according to what you're saying. Mm hmm Because she wasn't conscious. How did you how did you end up in the closet? How did you guys end up there? Let's start from the beginning again, because there's obviously let's let's get this straight this time. You know what? For me, I do you know this shit happens in the bathroom, not in the closet, and, and I would say everything is confused, man. Everything is confused to me right now because I know, I know, I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't on the mind. You know, my mind wasn't was blank. Your well, mind wasn't wasn't blank because she called you. You know for a fact that she called you by someone else's name, which you told us upset you very much so. You felt disrespected. You yeah. felt that... Yeah. And that point, that she, the alcohol and that, and I mean, my mind get blank. And you so told we, us that you, you pulled, you, you put your arm inside of her. No. Uh -huh. But at the same time, you told us earlier that she said she wanted you to put her arm inside of her. Mm-hmm. That's not true. I know. That's not true. Okay. Just like she didn't want you to put the beer bottle inside of her, did she? She was talking about it, but it's not like I, she was asking me for me to do it. That, that never happened. She was that never happened. That never happened. And what about the what about the the flat iron? No flat iron. No. This thing. That you said you put inside of her. Yeah, I put inside of her. Did she ask you to put that inside of her? No, man. She was some conscious, but I start do this already. She. At what point did she go unconscious? What point in this this incident? From the beginning, man. From the beginning. And where did it start? I remember we started in the bathroom with the closet. But We start here in the closet. Lopez has almost completely given up trying to lie. After looking at those photos, it must have been driven home that he doesn't stand a chance of avoiding a heavy sentence. I wanted to remind you once again, my new merch shop is up. StrangerLabel.com is full of relatable designs like the unstable and the mentally checked out t-shirts, as well as other cool items like the all-seeing beanie and the stranger socks. Every purchase helps support this channel, and you can even write me a short message on the purchase page. I'll be reading every single message that comes with any order, big or small. So head to StrangerLabel.com and get whatever you want. And with that said, let's get back into the case. She was unconscious in the closet? At one point did she say the other guy's name then? She just said the other guy's name like... I don't know her, know her. So she wasn't coherent, she was just mumbling? Yeah, mumbling, like, you know, not like that she cannot talk, but she said the name. And then at that point is when you started? Yeah, uh, it sucked, you know, screaming. What did you do first? I don't know, I know, break all the things and, and throw everything. You broke all her things? No, no, her things. I mean, I'm talking about Chona in the house. Okay. You're talking about the sliding glass door. Uh -huh. Are you talking about the the whole the whole <coughs> the wall and all mm -hmm. that? I should do it in that moment. Like, like I said, I don't remember when I did it. I don't remember with what I break the door or whatever. Yeah. I know I did it. I know I did it. She's in the closet during that time. 
She's at, in yeah, the closet during so. that time? I don't think so. You go back in, what's the first thing that you put inside of her? The uh, first thing was my dick. Okay. Well, she was passed out? Uh, she was like, like this. I mean, she, passed out. She, the... she didn't know you were having sex with her? Oh, yeah, yeah, she does. She does. She wasn't. You're saying she, she passed out. The blood, so she the know. blood is not like, like this when we start. There's nothing, you know, okay. nothing like that. She, she, was, she was not passed out. She was, you know, and then this one that started to get like little, you know, she started to get like a little like unconscious, you know. And I don't know, man. I turned myself into a fucking monster. Because she called her ex-husband's name? Huh? Because she called you her by her, your, by her ex-husband's name? Yeah, man. My, my mind blocked stuff. I mean, my mind just blocked so everything I was doing. I didn't think. It just, just straight up. And when you but heard, I didn't mean to kill her, man. I really don't. Listen. When I see that, you saying you didn't mean to kill her? I didn't mean to kill her, man. You pulled her insides out. Pull their intestines out. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't knowing what, what did I you was think doing, was gonna. Man. What did you think was gonna happen to her? Did she just get up and go make breakfast? I mean, at some point during this, you knew there was a point of no return, right? That's why I took her to the bathroom and started pouring water on her face and going out with one man. But it was she was gone by then. No, she was. Reading like, like this, but... Now that they have gotten Lopez to admit what he did, the detectives drop the friendly act and come to the point. This level of violence is in no way accidental. To do something of this magnitude, you have to intend to cause someone harm, and you have to know that they are unlikely to survive. But what happened in here at that point when you get her to the bathroom? There's they, When I put this here, it was uh, just was care, man. I really, I really you didn't don't want to. You didn't want to look at it, did you? I don't know, man. I really don't. How long was it till you called nine one one? From the point when you brought her in here and started covering all this stuff up, because I know it wasn't immediately. Well, I put her in the bathroom and then put water on her face and see that she can breathe. I call nine one one. I'm not really sure how long. You had cleaned yourself up first? Um, I cleaned myself in the bathroom. Before you brought her in there? Or after? Uh, after, 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 because uh, I know I smoked a cigarette. I smoked a cigarette, man. I was so fucking nervous, man. Man, I didn't. I wasn't thinking, man. I wasn't thinking. And then at what time did you go in and start throwing the stuff over top of that? Huh? When did you start putting the stuff over top of that? When it happens, I guess. Well, you had to get her out of there first. Is it after you took her out of the closet? The what? You removed her from the closet, uh -huh. then you went back and put this stuff over top. You covered all this up. You covered all that up. When was that? This was going something too? Yeah, this this is here, and then this is moved, and this is all underneath. This is because... Man, what the fuck? What it, it looks like you, you, got, you started to freak out a little bit and said I, you started covering that stuff up and trying to figure out what you were going to do. No, oh, man, I mean, I mean it, it, really trying to cover it up or whatever, I just I covered everything up, and even this part right here, I mean... I don't know, I put that over there for, for not to see her or something, man. What you... To go, man. Everything you pulled out from inside of her, you pulled it out through her vagina? I did, really you put, did you put anything in her anus? Yeah, I think so. 
I really don't. Lopez does not fully commit, but the detectives already know from the medical examiner that that is what happened. You, you think know? so? Or you... Yeah, 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 yeah. I do, I do. So you th what do you think you put in her anus? I don't know, my hand, the, the thing, everything, man. So you, you shoved your hand up her vagina and up her, her anus? Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No. But she didn't want this. I know. She never asked for that. She didn't ask for the beer bottle. She didn't ask for the hand, the, the 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 flat iron. She didn't ask for your fist. Did she? No, Let's be she honest. Did you put anything in, in her anus besides your hand? Besides your arm? No. Nothing else, man. Did you put your hand inside her up up in her anus before or after you pulled this I mean, was it I mean what did you do first? Like I said, I believe you know, what I know is I take all that from her body. Mm. You were angry because she called you by her ex-husband then. Probably a little more than that. She was gonna leave you, go to Peru. Yeah, that, but that, that was like talking earlier. Yeah, but it was a build-up of some things. Maybe, yeah, maybe everything gets together. And did she did, sit? Did she fight? Huh? Did she fight at all? Did she try to fight you off or try to resist you at all? Nothing, man. I didn't force her. But, you know. Well, she did. What I'm saying is that no, there was no time when you were inserting things inside of her that she was conscious enough to try to get you away. No, she was. She wasn't doing nothing. She was just like standing like that, just laying there. She don't no move, no tell me. Nothing well, she like couldn't that. tell you. I mean, I know. If she, if she can feel, if she was conscious and she felt what was going on, she would have told you. You know, if you're pulling out your insides, you're gonna and you know what's going on, you're gonna scream. <clears throat> yeah. no, she didn't do my, did my, my you bed. did you drag her? Did you bring her to the closet? No, she was. I don't remember how how do we start to you know. I mean, she passed out at some point. Was it on the bed? Was it in the was it in the living room, kitchen area? You know, the little dining area. There's clothing up there. There's underwear and stuff up there. Is that where you guys started? Yeah. Then we went to I don't know why we went to the closet and man. Nobody else for this is my fault. As long as you accept that. Because initially you try to make put her to blame. You know? Earlier you were telling her she was to blame for you doing what you did here. She might have upset you, but she never asked for any of this to go on. Uh -huh. But you know what? The the bigger bottle? That she did ask for her, and well, you, I didn't want to do it. Well, you might have talked about it prior. Yeah. But during this this time in the closet. No, she didn't ask for it. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else that you can think of? Anything else that was used? I think so. Mm. 
What were you planning on doing? Right? Yeah. Right. When you realized that she was not going to make it, what was your plan? <clears throat> Stay there and face whatever happened. Because I really don't mean to do that. Man. I did it. Yeah. It was wrong. But I didn't want to kill her, man. I was playing. My mind was playing. I mean, like... I never did something like that sober. Yeah. At any point, <clears throat> I know you said she was heavily intoxicated. What was that? She was drinking, she was drunk. Was there ever a time she said, stop, stop doing this? Or was she not able to speak? No, she never, she never told me to stop. Okay. Yeah, never. Cause it's because she was. Because for why? Why? For what reason? Tell you? Why didn't she tell you to stop? But, but I don't know. She was, she was like this, but she never told me to stop or, or something like that. So, you know. It's, why do you think she couldn't tell you to stop? I don't know. Man. What? Why? What do you think? That she was passed out then. She she wouldn't be able to go talk, but she just said two names, sir. How many times did she say her ex-husband's name? Two times. Two times. One by one, the detective attacks the main points of Lopez's story. He conveniently switches between Namath asking him for those things and her being unconscious. What about the clothes again? Let's go back over. What did you What did you do with your clothes? You clean yourself up. Did you put stuff in the closet? No, I don't know if I put some shirt. I don't know. This is a the black shirt. I don't know I had a black shirt yesterday. When you take your when you take your clothes off, when you take your shirt off, is it before or after the incident? Before or after you you attack her? When you when, when you go into the bathroom and you're cleaning yourself up, are you wearing a shirt? Did you did you use your shirt to wipe off? Some of the blood. She doesn't have any blood on her body. She don't have blood on her body, bro. Well, why? I don't know. I did, I put water on her face, and she was doing no breathing. I put water on the face. Okay. Not uh, made to the body a little bit, but you know. So you you washed her face and her body? No, I don't. I don't wash her, her face. I just put water, water on her to. You know, I don't touch the face. The face, I touch it, it's like, baby, baby, to work up. Yeah. But they just pour water. You thought water was going to wake her up? I don't know what to do at the moment, man. Yeah. This. Okay. This. Huh? This is not survival. Yet. Nothing that you could have done was going to help her. I don't know why I did that, man. I don't know why I did that. I was fucking black, man. I really don't know what I did that.
take all the family already? I think so now. <clears throat> Now that Lopez has confessed, the interview is slowing down. Even if he is being truthful, there isn't much more he can add to the investigation that they won't be able to find out from the forensics. something else, some other argument besides her calling you or her ex-husband's name? No, not that I remember. Just, just that. Really hurt your pride, hurt your manhood. I know you say that, but you ripped out her insides. You ripped out her guts. Huh? You ripped out her guts. <clears throat> too, right? Did you have both hands inside of her at the same time? No. no I only used this hand. On this one. And she, I, it happened in the closet as we could see. That's what you said earlier. What, what was she on her stomach? Was she on her back? Was she, how, what, what position was she in? Uh, like a doggy was switching. Okay, but if, if she's not conscious, she's not going to be able to be on her knees. Uh, she was like doggy position, like, you know, like like the, the, the head laid down on the floor, you know, we, without using these two hands. Okay, so her face was on the floor? Uh-huh. Okay, and, and what did you do with that? Well, how, tell me what how you did it. What did you do? Because if she's, if she's not conscious... It was she was laid down and on the, the knees, but like 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 me. Uh, so she the, okay. So are you telling me she passed out on her knees? Yeah. Uh -huh. With her face down on the ground, a head uh -huh. on the ground. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, like that's how come. That's so how come. so her. If I'm if I'm understanding you correctly, her she's on her knees. Is her her ass like kind of up in the air? Yeah, uh, kind of, kind of like that. Because she's on her knees. Yeah. <clears throat> What were you saying when this was happening? I wasn't saying anything. Were you uh, nothing? You weren't saying anything to her? Just quiet. <clears throat> I mean, you were you were you were obviously enraged. You were angry. Were you calling her any names? Were you calling her a no. fucking bitch? Were you no. calling nothing? Nothing. Yeah, it's just. Quiet, and that's it. I didn't call her anything. Or, you know. Show me, do me a favor. Show me, show me, show me how she was. Show me what position. Like, like, like. Go ahead, show like, me. Like, like doggy style. Like. Okay. You know, like she, she was like like this on the knees and with the. With, okay. You know, with the hands. Just, just show me. I want to see what you're talking about, so I have an right, understanding. Just, just like like this, like that. Like that. Okay. And you were, uh, I, I want to say, you obviously you were behind her? Oh, yeah. Namath passed out quickly. Although it might be difficult, it is possible for her body to have stayed in the position Lopez described.
Listen, man. I think it's possible in a few minutes for me to get a cigarette. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You want a cigarette now? Yeah, man, please. One more one? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have your cigarettes? Yeah. Let me see. Take a few more pictures. <clears throat> Is the door stop or no? No. All right. Do you want me to stand up against there again? The top of your feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those shoes. My Just shoes. From your shoes? No. That wasn't from anything that was going on? No. That was uh, from my shoes. Okay. Sure. Alright. Let's go ahead and do your hands again. We're just going to get We're going to take pictures on the bottom of your feet. Okay. Turn around, <laughs> face the wall, and just lift your foot up. Lopez is being photographed. This will show any defensive wounds and traces of blood from Namath. Just like that. <clears throat> How much blood did you have on you? Did you have a lot of blood on you? Yeah, I'm Yeah. How about the rest of your body? I don't remember how blood at all in the whole rest of the body. Or yeah. Okay, spin the face that way. No, face, turn, turn face the face that wall. This wall? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just like that. Blood. 
You got swapped with you, Michelle? She's got, you got them with you, right? What? Swapped. Yeah, she's got them right. Mm-hmm. Put stuff on your arms. No, it's not, uh, I don't finish the tool. Uh, removal. Oh, you got a tattoo removed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing on your arms? Then nothing that was from, from last night? No. I'm just going to take that one with the scale. Okay, yeah, yeah. Scale sure. Turn and face that way. You choose or something? Oh, it's on me. A swab just inside your cheeks, all right? Lopez's clothing will have to be taken as well to see if they are the ones that he wore during Namus' murder. your clothes and put your clothes in here, okay? And I need you to put this suit on, okay? Go ahead and have a seat, all right? I just want to cover a few things to you. I've been, uh, I know we haven't met, I'm Sergeant Visners. Come back. Come right back here. formally met, but I've been in periodic 
contact with you throughout the morning, correct? When you went out for your cigarette breaks? Uh-huh. Okay. And I actually made contact with you when you were actually first came into the building, and I told you that you were free to leave. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, you got here today. You were driven here in a police, uh, police car, but you weren't restrained in any way, were you? No, I wasn't. Okay. And you, were, you, were, you voluntarily came to the police department? Yes. Okay. And um, nobody, everybody's treated you decently here? Yeah. You were offered an opportunity to eat? Yeah opportunity to use the bathroom, you smoked several cigarettes, mm -hmm. you actually took a nap for a little while, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you, nobody has threatened you, coerced you? No. Okay. You've been treated fairly? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to clarify those things with you. I okay. just want to clarify when he said restrained. You were never handcuffed in any way. Were you, were no. you ever, were handcuffs no. ever placed on you? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? I appreciate you being honest. You did the right thing. So. Um. Hang on one second. If you want to eat, you can still eat that. You want more water? Yeah, please. Okay, I'll bring you another one. Fidel. All right. Did you eat? A uh, little bit? A little bit. Okay. It's cold, huh? Um, you want me to heat it up for you? No, thanks. Man. You sure? I'm going to take these. I'll take those out. Actually, let's stop this. Um. I'm here to formally let you know that you are going to be arrested for the death of Maria, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what happens at this point, we'll, we'll let you know. I mean, obviously, we have some things that we're still doing at the scene and some more we have to take care of, but um, at this point, you will be booked and charged and taken to uh, Broward County Jail. Broward County Jail? Broward County Jail. Okay. So... You'll be able to make your phone call when you get down there. Man, I need to make a phone call right now. Okay. Well, unfortunately, at this point, we're not going to be allowed. We can't let you make a phone call. But um, but you do you get, get to make a phone call do, get, when you get down there. You'll be able to make the phone call. Okay. We're still, if you need any food, drink, bathroom, anything you need, still let us know. We will provide that for you. I just need the you, you want to smoke a cigarette? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give us one minute. Bring your foot up for me. Put your left foot forward, yes. Oh. Throw a kind of job like this, uh, somebody can go be sitting or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, and uh, let us finish up some of the paperwork and stuff, and then we can allow you to uh, possibly smoke a cigarette. Smoke a cigarette, use the restroom, whatever, okay? Okay. Take a few measurements from you, okay? Mm -hmm. What um? How long do you live in Broward County? Um, Before you moved to Sunrise, you were in Hollywood, or yeah. in Hialeah? Hollywood. I was uh, I was Hollywood, then Hialeah, then. Some yeah, how long did you live in Hollywood? Um, about, about six months. Six months. Five, six months. Well, what about where were you before Hollywood? Where was it? Was that? Where were you living before Hollywood? Before Hollywood, I was uh, Hialeah. Okay, so Hialeah, Hollywood for about six months, mm -hmm. and then back to Hialeah, mm -hmm. and now to Sunrise. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Make a fist, okay, and, yeah. Okay, make a fist. I'm putting my hand, put his arm on the table. Yeah, just like Lay it next to the... Here, put the tape measure this way now. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
gonna do the same thing with the other arm. Try to get the front of your. There you go. And you work, what do you work again? Uh, um, Florida 595 truck stop. Florida 595 truck stop? Okay, how long have you worked there? Uh, about a month. About a month, and you're a mechanic? Mm hmm. Okay, how much do you weigh? Um, about 200. About 200? 210. Okay, thank you. You good? You want anything else? You want more water? I just want the cigarette, man. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll get you a cigarette, okay? All right. All right. Fidel, this is Officer Locash. <coughs> How you doing? Hey. That's what you come on this side, Dave. Either stick your left through, leg straight through. Turn your leg straight through. Fidel Lopez pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and sexual battery in the death of Maria Namath. He changed his former plea to avoid the death penalty. Under the plea agreement's terms, Lopez will not be eligible for parole and cannot appeal the sentence. Lopez begged Namath's family for forgiveness and thanked the judge for sparing him the death penalty. And that's where we end this video. If you liked today's video, then drop a line. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can check out my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.